Hey, did you know you could watch the Rooster Teeth podcast live every Monday night at 7.30 p.m. Central if you're a first member? Well, you can, so sign up for your first 30 days free at this link below, roosterteeth.com slash first. You can see it all live, unedited. I mean, I watch this all the time. <laughs> Wayne started singing the wrong theme song when we were starting. I was like, oh, oh, oh what? No. <laughs> uh, I still do I that love all the on time. the spot. Well, welcome everyone to the Rooster Teeth Podcast. This episode is brought to you by Nature Box, Ring, and Squarespace. Thank you, sponsors. We'll be talking about you later on in the episode. Uh, I am Barbara. Hello. Wait, you just went out of order. I'm, I uh, I started the show so I could start off with me. Who goes next? She already displayed dominance. I'm I'm going next. I'm the second most dominant. I'm Miles. I'm Chris. I'm Blaine. You're the least most dominant. <laughs> Did you just fart and guess his chair. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Did man. you? Was that actually yes, a fart? Yeah, it was. No, it was, it was a duck. So There's how did how did this blasphemous cast setup happen? Yeah, <laughs> how did this fuck happen? Fuck is Gus. Gus invited me, so Gus I, uh, yeah. is. I think he just returned from Korea. 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 <gasps> yes, oh, which right. really cool story. He his I wife's family has not been back to Korea for like twenty years Whoa. or longer, maybe. Huh. So they get to like go back. Man, I bet that is completely different. Yeah, he said that like every place they went is like completely different than it ever was before. I wonder what what was Korea like. Unrecognizable. Like, what ninety. Six, yeah. Uh, I assume he's in South Korea. Yes, Chris. <laughs> just, just check it. I, <laughs> Although they they visited the DMZ though. Yeah, I guess I was pretty pumped about that. I told yeah. him to go give me a uh, propaganda a DMV. poster. <laughs> that I too. was like, oh, the classic place you go in Korea, the, <laughs> the DMV. DMV. Well, wait. Oh, that's what I heard. They don't have yeah. cars. <laughs> wait, what is DMZ? Demilitarization zone. Oh, oh okay, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. So he's, I, he I, just saw I the totally line where they were that. like, no shooting. And then he was like, cool, and he took a picture. You like, remember in the, the hit classic James Bond movie, is it The World Isn't Not Enough? <laughs> Do you remember? I don't know, is it? <laughs> I don't know. It was the worst of the Brosnan movies. <laughs> Man, I feel bad for Pierce Brosnan because I felt like he was a good Bond that just got bad Bond movies. Goldeneye was fun. Goldeneye was good. Ooh, he started was good. out great. Yeah. yeah. Have they ever made the joke Gold Bond? Like, How would that joke go, Barbara? <laughs> like, Because it's Goldeneye and it's a Bond movie. Gold huh? Bond. It's like a... <laughs> isn't that a... Bond, in gold Bond <laughs> stares directly into camera. <laughs> I hope not. Let's hope we never reach that day. I just like I just made that connection in my brain right now and realized that there's never been any reference to it. Probably also, for a reason. <laughs> there's some like struggling writer in Hollywood watching the podcast right now. Like this is it. <laughs> Why am I writing in 2016? <laughs> Whatever inspiration I could provide for people. Anyway. <laughs> I apologize in advance for all the coughs. I uh, I had strep throat and this a is, virus. You this is week. why you wanted to switch chairs with me. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I oh. your microphone. I'm coughing into my shoulder. Ew. Right? Yeah, which is facing Chris. me. You I, look, so I got I got back from New York Comic Con, which was great. Thank you everybody that came out to see us in New York Comic Con. Holy shit. Yeah. Um, but I got back and was feeling kind of poopy Tuesday morning. Like I woke up at like 5 a.m. on Tuesday, coughing up. I, I was way too poopy, and um, I was coughing up just grossness. So I I. Uh, you know, sending an email saying like, "Hey guys, I think I might have something. I'm not, I'm not coming in today, but I'll work from home. Everything should be fine. I don't feel sick. Just coughing up a bunch of gross stuff." And Carrie immediately responded as soon as he woke up, "Go to the fucking doctor because I'm an asshole. That's like, oh, my immune system will take care of this Power surely." Yeah. What yeah. is that mentality? I know uh, so many stupid and lazy. Like, that. like I feel like you know, there's like the whole uh, like guys won't ever ask for directions. Oh, guys won't ever do this. I feel like that's the one like masculine stereotype that applies to me. Yeah. Is that like if I'm sick, I'll be like, oh, I'll be over this in a day. I'll be fine. I'll, I'll, it'll be fine. Even if it's like worse than your typical sickness, like a cold or something. So or I normally don't realize how bad it is until, until like four days bad. in. Until it's too bad. Yeah. But I went, I went that first day because Carrie was like, dude, Ruby Four's coming up. We cannot have people coming in, getting people sick. Go to the fucking doctor, figure out what it is. So I went to some like ready clinic right around the corner, and I went in. And the lady was like, okay, well, you don't have a headache, you don't have this, you don't have that, but I do see some irritation. Uh, we'll do some tests, run some tests. And uh, you know she's making small talk. She's like, AIDS. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's, uh, it's a viral infection. Uh, we're gonna do the strep test just to be safe, but it's probably not it. Timer's up. She checks the test. She's like, Yeah, you're negative. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> and she like did a double take, and she looks at him and she goes, 
you're gonna have a bad week. I was like, whoa. <laughs> she was really cool about it, but she's like, I'm gonna be real with you. Was you she know, like she a younger was, doctor? What, yeah, she was. What she was, was like, it? Okay. What was it? I had I had a viral infection and I had strep throat. Shit. And, uh, and, uh, but and he's fine now. I'm fine. My my fever broke uh, la- uh, like Wednesday night, I think. Uh, and uh, anyways, she was like, you'll you'll 100 be safe to return to work on Friday. You will not be contagious anymore. It's Monday. I haven't had a fever. Since Thursday, Chris, do you want to sit on Blaine's lap or something? Would that make you feel? Better? Oh no, he's got farts for days. You're gonna get pink <laughs> eye. You're like already. You're like. Come here, Chris. S- so yeah, I'm not yeah, stretching yourself between, over I'm the back of the a, couch. A rock and a fart place. <laughs> <laughs> Start out strong. <laughs> so I, I, I'm not sick, but I do apologize if I cough a lot. That time. sucks. I, I've started like. Let good, me drink. It'll make it better. Good on Carrie for telling you to go to the doctor. Because mm-hmm. I'm the same way. I'll, I'll just like try to power through and. Yeah. Like There's a fucking plague going on right now. Like yeah. a third of animation was out last week wow. with sickness. It was I might have been patient zero for that. What did you do? What I, handle did you lick? I don't know, but I came into work one day. I felt like shit. It was actually a podcast that we recorded, the first one on this set where I was really sick. Mm-hmm. And uh, it was just a really bad cold. It wasn't the flu or strep or any infection. But I was the only person sick, and then all of a sudden now all these other people are sick. Did, yeah, was, like, did you bring that back from New York? No, it was like... Oh, two weeks before New York Comic Con. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If you if you walk through animation right now, you will see hand sanitizer on every single row because we just like Graham them just went out and like hand sanitizer everywhere, vitamin C everywhere. We cannot get fucked right now. Yeah. They've they've been they've been busting their balls for the maybe four maybe, maybe we, we should this weekend. We probably shouldn't hang out in the bathroom like we do. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> brought that up. Wait, what? <laughs> well, so like before the show, I walked in. So I, Chris texted. I just went to the. I took a shower before the show because Chris and I did the pre podcast pump at the, the showers here. It's yeah. where we go work out before Y'all, the podcast. We all work out together before the podcast. Yeah, well, I just I'd never done that before, but I did it with Blaine this time. Mm-hmm. Went to the gym and then we both had to take a shower. So I took a shower and then he, while he was taking a shower, I was getting dressed from the shower, and then we're in having the this conversation. Yeah, in the bathroom next door. Mm-hmm. And then while we're having this conversation. I came in to poop. But you were already in there, and we were, like, making wow. jokes and Sharing stuff. while the while space. Blaine is in the shower, and all of a sudden, wait, you started making one Someone, like, someone for- chimed in, and they're like, yeah, that'd be funny. And we're like, is that Miles? And you're like, <laughs> like hey, guys, <laughs> I'm just having a poop. <laughs> but it was funny, because there was this moment, too, where, like, all of us were like, wait, are you on the podcast today? Like, yeah, are you? We're like, we're on the podcast tonight. And, and then was like, Gray came in, we're like, Gray! <laughs> I was like, we should then, get Barbara in here. Yeah. And, at some, and then no, John, John came in at some <laughs> point, and there was, so it was just like... Five of us all yeah. just hanging Chill, out in the bath. bathroom. Like Miles room is talk. pooping. I'm Blaine's in the shower. I'm yeah. you know getting you dressed. Uh, you you jump you jumped over and peered in on me. <laughs> yeah, I did like a pull up just to like see over the stall. I was like, right. hey, what's up? You handled it like a champ. Normally yeah. everybody's like, oh god, I'm pooping. <laughs> I'm just like, you're like, enjoy my dick. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, someone looked at you while you were shitting. Yeah, that one. <laughs> did you see his dick? Uh, no, I wasn't looking at it. I looked at the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I stared him straight in the eye. <laughs> See who would break. That's like the cleavage test. You know, if like a woman shows up in a low cut dress, yeah, and you know, like you, you maintain eye contact, you're a classy gentleman. You're not objectifying a person. Well, same thing. Look, if I look at Blaine in the eyes and his dick is down, I'm being a gentleman to you. I also just I'm get, fighting my temptation. I just get aroused when I see a man who has shit coming out of his ass while he's looking at me in the eye. Let's get away. Man, from this. this got to possible. a weird place. You were, what were you wearing the other day? Oh, I wasn't, <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't <laughs> fist bumping you. I was just stretch. I put my arm out like this. <laughs> There's no taking that back, Chris. You're an accessory to that shit talk. You were wearing something recently. Shorts. Oh, it was to the Beer Olympics, I think. Yeah. And, like, you're just like, I could tell everyone's looking at my dick. Well, no, no, no. I come <laughs> down. Well, like, Including me. We were supposed it's hard to be, not to. We were dressed as, like, different countries, and I think, well, for whatever reason, we got Mordor, which isn't a country. I know. You didn't, for whatever reason, I picked Mordor. <laughs> what do you, you think you Mordor? got yeah. it? Jackass. Look who's on your team. Idiot. So, anyways, I show up and I had a, a red, sh- like really r- tight red shirt in these like Sophie women's shorts, and I didn't wear underwear underneath. And like I come down, and Barbara and Aaron are both just like immediately looking at my dick <laughs> in, the, in the lobby. And then I was just like, I just called it out because I was just gonna. I was like, How everybody's looking not? at my dick. That yeah. would be like a, a woman with huge tits not wearing a bra. Well, let's not. Let's like, let's. It wasn't. So you're saying I'm a huge dick? A, a, a woman with you know m- moderate sized <laughs> boobs. So anyways, average size, like average five size. to six <laughs> cups. But I just fucking life. owned it. Like as soon as I got outside, I was like, I put my t- t- foot on a table, like by n- someone's face. I was like, hey, you know. So <sighs> you just gotta own it. So glad we just got this new table. Oh, we should destroy it. Well, Gus is gone. I'm sure you'd with the sledgehammer. Lonely Island did it. We can do it. We're almost as cool as them. Yeah. Yeah. Almost. Almost. No, definitely not. Super close. 
Those were good times. <laughs> How'd you guys this weekend go? Because mine was... Mm. What Yours the fuck does that, that mean? So, I'm not going to say whose it was, but I went to... <laughs> I already know what this story is going to be. <laughs> I already know what this story is. I went is. to a birthday party <laughs> this weekend, and is I'm not going to say whose, mm, nope, not but it was a karaoke party, which is not my forte, karaoke. What? I thought you oh, like wait. Singing. I just remember the rock band event. Yeah, so I don't like singing, and I also don't like being sober while other people are singing. So why the First off, question, why were you sober? Oh, because, like, well, I drove out there. It was oh, kind of okay. far from my house. Okay, I just okay. didn't, you know. Good man. Good man. Yeah, yeah, There's just There's reasons. So um, I drive out there, and I, I, I decide to show up, like, fashionably late, you know, because, like, I don't want to show up on time because no one's going to be there. So I show up, like, an hour, hour and a half late. That was a mistake because as soon as I got there, everybody is fucking wasted already. And oh, I walk no. into this room and there's like 10, 12 people just like, bah! you know, singing fucking Piano Man or something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I just like sat down in a chair and it was just like, I was just dying inside. Mm-hmm. So this girl came up and she was wasted. The girl that you knew? Uh, yes, kind of. Okay. She doesn't work. Here. No, I just didn't know if it was like a girl at the <laughs> bar or no, no. Someone. It was no. we were we had our own private room. So this girl walks up and she sits down, and I was like immediately knew what was going on there. Like she starts like touching up on me. She was looking like, at his dick. She was like, yeah, she was just like grabbing my to arms. To be fair, and, he's like, wearing his uh, so team order sure. outfit. <laughs> I was I was looking through like the the playlists thing, and she was like, oh, you should sing this one. She's just like, wait, so I get to smell it with my breath. Nice. Mm. So I immediately moved seats and I moved next to Tyler Coe because he's there and he's also kind of sober. So, like, at one point I turned back and she's like, I'm never getting fucked. <laughs> like, she said that to her friend. <laughs> so, I was like, oh, got to move seats. <sighs> so, the night goes on. Everybody's, you know, drinking and having a great time except for me. And said girl starts vomiting. Oh. And I was already by the playlist thing, picking out the next song. And I looked back and then I picked Adele's Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh so, my she's God. throwing up to this really <laughs> tragic song. And I was like laughing with tears in my eyes. Hello. <laughs> it was so sad, but so funny at the same time. Oh God. Listen, you don't have to tell every detail of my night, okay? <laughs> <laughs> but it's just like the, the I'm never getting fucked. The piano <laughs> came in and stuff like that. She's just like <laughs> <laughs> Hello from the other. What was she puking into? Uh, I think on the leather chairs. Oh, oh the no. Chair. Yeah, she was like puking on the chairs. Oh, my God. That's not absorbent. Throw up a... on a, like a, you know, one of these chairs. No, you want to throw up on one of those because then you can easily you can clean, clean it up. Why do you think me and Blaine sat on these chairs? Yeah. <gasps> I'm the or, Bernie or Burns the, um, of this podcast. On the spot chairs. Yeah, you can throw up on those. They absorb throw up pretty well, don't they, Blaine? I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> Are you allowed to talk about that yet? There's uh, edits that exist. No. Oh, I've seen them. Yeah, everybody saw one. Like everyone saw my episode. Oh, I was there. And yeah, I remember. Everybody saw the episode of me getting blackout drunk. Can, we, can we talk I, about this? We have. Before. I don't know if we. Uh, I really just want to tell everyone what Miles said to Blaine, though, while they were trying wait, to keep you quiet. What I said to Blaine. Oh yeah. God. <laughs> Could I say? <laughs> we okay. So we are, we've already talked about this. Basically, we filmed ourselves no, 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 wait, getting wait, wait, blackout wait. drunk. I've okay. I've talked about it. Bernie's talked about it okay. on the podcast. Yeah. So we filmed ourselves getting blackout drunk. It, we might release it. We're still deciding. I got blackout drunk. Like, that's the drunkest I've ever been in my life. And we Miles saw. was like my father. I hung out a little extra time after work because I heard what was happening, what you guys were filming, and I wanted to see. <laughs> I was at the office until one in the morning taking care of you, taking care of you, and trying to keep Ashley from punching people. <laughs> it was a shit show. It was. I wasn't that bad. You were pretty rowdy. Chris. I from saw what I remember. Chris. Chris, you get very huggy. You're an enabler. Blaine was on the table like that. Passed out. Fucking trash can underneath him, horribly in a bad place. And you fucking barge in. Why isn't this fucker drinking? <laughs> I'm like, he's he's not feeling good, Chris. And you go. <laughs> <laughs> you like had a glass, which I don't know how the fuck you got it. You go. <laughs> Give him. Give him mine. And we're like, no, he needs that water. And you're like, pussy. <laughs> <laughs> and then you started kicking animators desks. And we had to pull you and sit you down. The computers. And I had to. I had to I, oh my God, Chris. No, it was, desks. it was desks. It was desks. You were kicking that. desks. You guys are the complete opposite then. And then. Because Blaine was going around hugging people. Blaine was going around people hugging people. I hug a lot of people. Oh, you hug a lot of I'm people. I'm very lovable when I'm drunk. You talked to Gray about Star sober. Wars for about half an hour. Yeah. You uh, you pointed at Kyler, our script supervisor, who has long hair and is generally very quiet. He came in to get coffee, and you were like, 
fucking rampaging through the break room, and you point to him, you go, Animator! <laughs> Your hair! <laughs> and you ran up and just hugged him. And Kyler, who is just the most soft spoken, just. Uh, uh, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you left him, and then I was just staring. Kyler goes, Well, okay then. And then he just like <laughs> skittered away. Didn't he like grab him by the shoulders and he's like, <clears throat> You work so yeah, hard. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're such a hard worker. And just my, hugging him and never letting go. But here's my favorite part of that night I learned just how much you trust me. Yeah, I trust you a lot. It was oh, the fuck. sweetest thing that I have ever seen. It was one of the most touching moments I have ever had with Which anybody. Which one were you thinking about? Because I heard something that I said that I was like, oh, shit. I said oh, that? you said some real gay shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, no, I'm specifically talking about, um, so I was dealing with you. What was I? You were kicking desks, Chris. You were walking around kicking things that just didn't belong to you for whatever reason. I don't know why. But like Jessica Hall, Jessica hauled you out of like our stage five area and she was like, I'm so sorry, he's like kicking computers. And you were like, they were desks. <laughs> and we sat you down on the couch in the break room and you were like, uh, she was like, can you please just watch him? So I watched you and you and I got into a discussion about the importance of friendship. <laughs> <laughs> to which my favorite part of the whole thing, like we were we were discussing we were discussing uh, something that had happened at work that was like kind of borderline serious, um, and you didn't really want to talk about it, but I could tell you wanted to talk about it. So you set up, you like inferred to what you want to talk about, and you went, because I mean, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> and I smiled, and you went, nah, but but. But you know what I'm saying. <laughs> you said, but you know what I'm saying about seven times but without me, you know without what me did... adding anything. It was incredible. It was like it was like a fucking action figure that has like a line that he says over <laughs> and over and over again. But did you know what he was saying? Oh, I knew exactly what he was saying the first fucking time. I, I kept saying, yeah, I know what you're saying. And you go, yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> we should. <coughs> my yeah. favorite, could I say my favorite line from that whole thing? Sure. I, uh, yeah. I, I, I only saw a few parts of it because I was watching the raw footage online. Yeah. Uh, on our network, I mean, it was a it was a behind the scenes footage that Connor had recorded. Yes, it was Miles and Blaine sitting in the kitchen, and I guess they were filming something with Chris in the Christmas. broadcast area, so they wanted you guys to be quiet. And Blaine kept yelling, obviously, and trying to be a fucking crazy guy. And Miles said to you, "All right, all right, pretend that it's Nazi Germany, <laughs> and we're the Jews." And then Blaine went, "The Jews, <laughs> <laughs> it worked." Immediately, <laughs> and then I saw that I was filmed, and I went, "Well, okay." And then at one point, you went over and picked up a or plushie, and you're just like, "It's Barbara," <laughs> and you just started squeezing. <laughs> it. Oh God! The the but the, the the best moment for me was was when I knew what you were saying. You kept telling me that yeah, you were yeah. saying, and Ellie came over and was like, "Uh, Miles, uh, Blaine needs you." And I went, well, wh "What happened?" She goes, "I don't know. He just keeps saying he needs you." <laughs> And you go, oh. <laughs> you were like, again, you were passed out, head down. <laughs> and I'm like, what is it, Blaine? And you go, <laughs> I go, I go, what? Are you okay? Okay, what do you need? You go, hand. Oh, <laughs> and, oh my God. And your hand, you go, <laughs> I say, do you want me to hold your hand? And you nod. Oh, oh God. So I held your hand, and you go, I trust you so much. <laughs> It was, I, my fucking heart melted. But apparently you just kept saying, like, as soon as I left, you started whispering to Ellie and Jessica, like, I need Miles. I need Miles. And I was like, what is it? And you were just like, I just trust you. I don't, I was like, you don't trust them? And you're like, I do, I do, but. And then you just like, and then you just went to sleep. You went I'm, to dreamland. I'm like incredibly, incredibly paranoid. So whenever I'm in a state of intoxication mm -hmm. of any sort, then I immediately latch onto the person that I'm closest with. So that's that's a big sign of our friendship. I was really, I was really, it made my day. My really my favorite my part day. of that is my keychain has a Boba Fett uh, action oh, figure God. at the end of it. And <laughs> someone took my keys at the beginning of the night, because obviously, um, but I didn't drive to work. I, I took an Uber, but they just wanted to take it just in case I got away. They didn't want me to yep. be able to escape. So yeah. um, <laughs> they couldn't find my keys. And apparently I was like, Boba Fett. Where's Boba, Boba Fett? Where? And I was just like, you, like I kept saying Boba Fett, and no one knew what the fuck I was talking about. <laughs> the worst That's part funny. was you couldn't we say finally keys. we no. finally got you into the car to drive you to your apartment, which I apologize because I remember we had to call uh, you and Aaron. Yeah, that was the whole thing. Well, some people I don't know if we texted get me first because he doesn't have text messaging. Yeah, fuck you, Aaron. Yeah. And then I called them back, and then 
he was all like, oh, well, are they trying to reach me or you? And I was like, well, you, so call him. I, we felt terrible because like Aaron had just gotten back from some trip and we knew that like, he was going to hang out with you that night. We were at and, a nice dinner. And we were just like, Drunk Blaine's about to cock block the shit out of Aaron and Barbara. <laughs> because we, yeah, no, we were just like, we can't leave you in your state. So, like, Aaron hung out with you or something all night. I third wheeled those. But we, all the time. we took you to your apartment, drove you all the way to your apartment, and then realized that Boba Fett was still back at the office. So I had to drive all the way back, get your keys, bring I'm him so back. Sorry, you stayed at Aaron's oh, place too, right? Yeah, because I remember, like, I. Oh, Did Aaron, you freaked Aaron out. I, so I remember throwing up, and then the next, like, two, th- four, five hours are just gone. Mm-hmm. Um, from what I hear from Aaron, getting me up the stairs and walking me like apparently I was just completely bow like bow legged and I was hitting every wall along the hallway but yeah so I wake up and I'm sitting up in Aaron's chair <laughs> and I wake up and all the lights on and I'm like what the fuck am I and I'm still like really drunk at this point so I get up and I start to recognize it. it's like okay oh this is Aaron's apartment so I walk into Aaron's bedroom <laughs> oh. and I just like stare at him and I'm like in my head I'm like should I wake him up? I need to let him know that I'm okay. Oh, he's a good friend for taking me in. And I'm like thinking about this. And then Aaron wakes up. And he's like, ah! And I was like, hey, I'm all right. I'm going to go. You're a good friend. You and then I just like waddle out. <laughs> God. So I, was, I would do that as a kid. <laughs> like I would, I would remember as a kid, I'd wake up from a bad dream and like go to tell my mom because I guess it's what my child <laughs> brain said I need to do whenever mm-hmm. I have a bad dream. But I would always be conflicted about waking her up, so I would just like stand there. And I'm sure that's not you wake up to just a child, child. watching you sleep. <laughs> that's basically what it was. Good lord! But yeah, man. I was just standing over him, and he, yeah, he lost. He, like he literally yelled. <laughs> And I was like, uh, hey, it's okay. <laughs> did you think I was over there too? Were you? I don't know. No, remember. I wasn't. Oh, okay. But did you think I was? Because uh, didn't you say like you cautiously went in like, oh shit, I don't want to wake them up. Yeah, yeah. I didn't want to like, b- you know, b- hey guys. Like I like peeked in and I was like, oh, it's, it's just Aaron. Did you I steal any of his food? Stood there. No. Well, you could have if you had Nature Box, maybe. Oh! Uh, Oh. A lot of us say we want to make healthier choices, but when we're tempted with chips, cookies, and junk, what do we do? Eat chips, cookies, and junk. Avoid the guilt with better snacks. Nature Box delivers tasty snacks made with simple ingredients right to your door, so you always have something better to snack on without feeling guilty. They have over 100 delicious snacks to choose from, ranging from healthy to indulgent, all with no artificial colors, flavors, or sweeteners. My personal favorites are the dried mango and the honey Dijon pretzels. Delicious. Right now, NatureBox is offering you two free snacks when you go to naturebox, naturebox.com slash roosterteeth. Avoid the guilt and go to naturebox.com slash roosterteeth to get two delicious free snacks. This offer won't last, so get your snacks today. That's naturebox.com slash roosterteeth for two free snacks. Delicious. Thank yeah. you, NatureBox. So... Uh, that- the whole drunk experience was a nightmare. So, I don't know how much I can talk about this, but you know what? The adults aren't here, so I'm gonna. Okay. Uh, what? This is not, that was not the first time I witnessed just how poorly this company handles alcohol. Oh, are we allowed to talk and about And Broadcast this? is laughing right now because they know exactly what the fuck I'm about to talk about. I was there that night. Yeah, you were. I saw I'm, you, and I saw everyone, and I saw all the glass yep. on the floor. So, um, for those of you that may not know, Red vs. Blue Season 14 uh, officially ended today. Woo! Thank you, everybody yeah. that worked on that. Everybody that collaborated on it. Uh, uh, all of our animators, our fucking producers. That thing was a nightmare. So it's, it is four, it's about four hours long. It is the longest season of Red vs. Blue ever. Is that the longest season of anything we've done other than yes, Day 5? I think so. Hmm. Um, and um, it was that, that season in and of itself was 16 different shows because of all the different people that we worked with, the different um, pipelines that we had to deal with. Um, also, like you guys did two D, three D, yeah. Live it was action. it was it was. Um, Cohen asked me, "Can we never do this again?" <laughs> um, <laughs> that's it was it was crazy, and you know, some people liked it, some people didn't. It was we just kind of wanted to just do weird shit this season, so you know, oh, ho- hopefully really people well. enjoyed it. But um, there was supposed to be another episode that never got made. Are they never going to do anything with it? Oh, they're going to do something with it. That's part of the reason I'm telling the story is so that Bernie sticks to his word and Ooh, puts this out. Shit. Yeah, I'm calling you out, Burns. I uh, I was confused as to what was happening. I knew that they were filming something at the studio, and I dropped someone off back at the studio after dinner here, and I saw Gus's car in the parking lot. And I was like, what are they doing here? So I came into the office and witnessed so, this. I think it's okay if I talk about this. 
Well, okay. you've already done it. Yeah. So, so, it, so it doesn't well, matter. No, no, I'm trying to decide how much information to give away. There was a, uh, Bernie had an idea. Bernie had an idea for an episode. He, he, he had already contributed this season with his, the 2D animated piece that we started with, but he had another idea. And that idea was, hey, Miles, um, I want to get the original Blood Gulch crew together. I want to get them shit face drunk. And I want to see if they can record episode two from memory. With prompts, though. With prompts. Yeah. He wanted me to be there to prompt them as a narrator and be our resident Vic. Mm -hmm. And uh, they all received scripts that said, like, it was the first half of the scene. And then from that point, it would say, like, Sarge gives Griffin Simmons an order. Simmons retorts with a joke. Okay. Like, that was essentially the extent of what they had. I was the only one with an actual script. Mm. And he said, what do you think? Now, when he pitched this to me, he was already way over his deadline for what he was supposed to give us for his episode. <laughs> and uh, we were under a lot of pressure. And I said, Bernie, I think that's a terrible idea <laughs> or has the potential to be terrible um, and the potential to be really funny. And he was like, I think I really want to do it. And I'm like, uh, you don't tell Bernie Burns this. You're like, okay, yeah. all right. So um, we did it. And uh, Jeff was there and Gus was there and Jason was there and Matt was there and Bernie was there. And then I was there in the corner, Joel like was geeking out. Jo uh, no, no, Joel wasn't there because oh, he's he not. Joel's not in. Uh, it, we, episode two is uh, Red gets a delivery. Right. Okay. Yeah. So it was uh, all the talk about the warthog, um, or the puma. And uh, Bernie had scheduled two and a half hours of drinking before we started recording, but he scheduled it on the set in the broadcast area, where we had lots of cameras. And I asked everybody, "Hey, I know we're not. You know, we're not." recording yet you know we're not doing the episode yet would anybody have a problem if we just rolled the cameras on this and everyone was cool with it so all of broadcast right now is smiling now. right now holy <laughs> shit you remember so it's we like rolled PTSD the cameras for you <laughs> that was the sloppiest thing i've ever seen in my entire life i tweeted pictures out about it there was broken glass how many glasses were broken does anyone remember all six glasses broken Four Bobo. bottles are broken. Well, fuck, I have a video. It's just the end. Holy shit. <laughs> of uh, Jeff throwing a full bottle of Jack Daniels at me. So it wasn't. Now, <laughs> no. nobody. Now, let me clarify. Because I realized that context. Me. None of this was like. There was, there was no big fight or anything. Right, like, right. Nothing bad happened. It, it, quite the opposite. I thought it was one of the most incredible things I'd seen. Because it was essentially a, a bunch of friends who have each been doing all, their own like incredible things, busy in their own worlds, sitting down just to chill and drink. For the first time, like Jeff was like, I haven't hung out with you in X number of years. Mm. And it was, it started off kind of like, ah, eh, you know, joking. And then it got like really real, um, particularly Matt. Oh my God. Who, yeah. how, as I would describe it, was trying to have a moment for about 40 minutes, <laughs> uh, but kept getting interrupted by Jeff and Gus. Um, but it was, it was cool. It got really emotional at one point. It was really fucking funny. We learned about Secret Gus. Um, but my fucking God, that thing fell apart. Quicker. I uh, I only showed up after everyone was drunk, so it was probably around like nine o'clock. You guys started at seven. Uh, I think so. And I showed up at, like nine nine thirty. Something like that, yeah. And I walk in, and uh, Matt sees me and he goes, "Babs, <laughs> Babs," and he's motioning for me. And Gus turns around and he sees me and he goes, "No," <laughs> <laughs> and he's going, "Stay, stay." He's like, "No, no, no." And Matt's like, get over here. And then Bernie's like, hey, Barb, get over here. And I'm like, well, shit, two out of three. Or telling <laughs> me so I walk over and I like, I kneel down next to Matt because you guys are in these like little chairs and there's no other chairs next to him. So I'm kneeling and he puts his arm around me and he goes, I have a story to tell. <laughs> <laughs> and he's holding me by the shoulders and he goes, Jeff, do you remember like this one time you called me? And we were talking about this thing, and you didn't know who I was. And he's just rocking me back and forth the whole time. He tells a story about Jeff to Jeff. <laughs> Not even relating to you at all. Nothing to do with me for half an hour. And I'm just, like, kneeling there. Like, I keep adjusting myself because I'm so uncomfortable. But I'm like, maybe he has something to tell me or this has to Relates do with me. You, yeah. Well, did, you, did you see what happened to Chelsea? I got there just after, after Chelsea. So yeah. you, were, you were essentially Chelsea, too. Chelsea yeah. was off in the sides, and Matt does the same thing. He goes, Chelsea! Come here a sec. When she comes over, she's like, hello, Matt. She's laughing. He's like, shh, don't laugh. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's like, he goes, the same thing. Chelsea, um... And then his eyes get, like, real misty. And you're like, oh, shit. 
like, oh my God, he's about to get real heart to heart right now. Yeah, yeah. And he does. And, like, he looks to Bernie and Jeff and Gus. He's like, 14 years, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Four, 14 years. This is crazy. Chelsea's just like, <laughs> this is crazy. Yeah. He goes, he gets quiet a second and he just goes, Star Trek. <laughs> and like, um, he made some like he, he, it ended up meaning something later but like at the time it was just like what the fuck is yeah. that about and he goes on and on and on and, go, and Jeff keeps going to him why the fuck do you have Chelsea here and he goes shut will you just let me <laughs> Star Trek and, and he goes on and on for about 20 minutes yep. and then Jeff goes for fuck's sake why do you have Je why do you have Chelsea sitting right fucking next to you and he goes and he like stares at Chelsea he goes Chelsea you were a fan. She nods. What's your deal? Yeah. <laughs> and then he, he just like the lead. folds his arms like, what's your deal? And then she's, she's what's my deal? Yeah. I, I don't, I, I was a fan. He's just like, yeah, you were. <laughs> <laughs> was, I don't know, like, God, it was, um, it was a, it was a beautiful, the best way I can describe it was a beautiful catastrophe. And then stuff happened um, with Gus trying to leave and that Yeah, was there was the a whole thing. thing. I don't want to spoil it. So, so, uh, after all of this, everybody had left. Chair Jeff flipped his chair and left. Jason disappeared. Um, Gus left. B shit was broken everywhere. And Bernie just looks to me. He goes, Miles, what, what did you tell me when I pitched this idea to you? <laughs> <laughs> and I said, uh, he goes, you said it was a terrible idea. I go, did I? He says, yep. You've never been more right. <laughs> and he got up and he walked off. And uh, oh, there's yeah. our picture, yeah. So, um, so the next the next week, we get, we told him we were like, "Yo, dude, you said you're gonna give us an episode. What are you gonna do?" And uh, we gave him a week to sift through all that footage, and he came back like tail between his legs. Says, "I can't get anything out of this. <laughs> I can't. I'm sorry." But he did say that he does want to release some version of what broadcast recorded that night because. I it's gold. look. There's we all like there was blood, reel. sweat, and tears that went into that. All of you suffered. Um, I just think there were so many moments in there that a fan of Rooster Teeth would love to. see. I cried for a lot of that because it was freaking me it out. Because like so nostalgic. Yeah. And just there were so many great moments mm -hmm. and great things that happened that it's too good not to release in some capacity. It felt really special being there. Yeah. Like as a fan of what those guys did and what they've built, I was like unbelievably moved. Yeah. Um. So there uh, was like a whole moment with you too, where yeah. like Jeff was going on and on about you. He was like, "When I met you, I figured you were a kiss ass," and yeah. I was like, "That sounds about right." <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it was yeah, no. I spent a lot of that night just like hiding my tears behind the script. It was it was a really beautiful, albeit destructive evening. And uh, yeah, Bernie does want to put it out at some point, maybe like for first members or something. I don't know, but um, somehow. So now there. Now you have to do it. I'm gonna Watch make you fucking stick to your words, Burns. Um, All of a fired. Sudden the podcast <laughs> I'm so okay. fired. Um, but no, I think I do really think it was beautiful and hilarious. And man, we had to throw out the carpet because of that. Did you really? Mm-hmm. So here's to you guys. Wow. <laughs> thanks, Cheers to broadcast. Thanks, broadcast. You and thanks have to, to put up with a lot of shit. Yeah. Thanks again. Thanks to everybody that watched season 14. I've got my. Do you remember when we went to? Uh, fan Expo together, Babs, and I made my fucking Red vs. Blue in Converse like 2010? in 2011. Oh, I love it. Yeah, I wore them today because, yeah. Oh, no. way of saying goodbye I'm to this season. My That's adorable. Future of RVB is going to be crazy as to how it all happens. You know, we'll see. Season 15 is coming. Don't worry. I still uh, remember that Fan Expo. It was one of the greatest moments of my life. That was fun. That was the first convention I ever went to. And, and, and the first time in Canada, too. And my first time in Canada. We went to Wayne Gretzky's, like, House of Poutine. It was the most Canadian That's fucking the place. There's a bar called Gretzky's that yeah. I took you to, and we ate poutine. I like my version. <laughs> <laughs> Wayne Gretzky's House of Poutine and Beaver. They serve it up to you like a puck. <laughs> um, Deek you out. That was great. It was you, me, Marshall, uh, Kathleen. Mm -hmm. Who else was it? There I was, think that uh, was it. It was just us four. Yeah. Uh, we did, there was the just, dust the Just Dance thing, there was, I just remember like, I'd never been in an atmosphere like that before. I think I took a picture of every single cosplayer. I was like, oh wow, Mario. Oh wow, Mario. Yeah. Oh wow, Mario. Because <laughs> it was so foreign and alien to me. I fucking love conventions. Yeah. God, I love conventions. It was amazing. Also, I remember uh, we were so tired and delirious one night because that was back when we, like, the, it, I mean, Richard Teeth was this way for a really long time where the people going to work the booth also set up the booth, sold the mm -hmm. merchandise, and then mm -hmm. cleaned up and packed up the booth. 
Um, it was that way up until like two years ago. Maybe? Yeah, I was still around when that was. Yeah, yeah it was happening. recent. Um, so we were all delirious and exhausted one night, and we were in the lobby of our hotel. Yep. And it was me, Miles, Marshall, and um, Joe, who was helping yeah. out with the booth, an, a community member back mm-hmm. in Toronto. And we were just sitting around in a circle, not talking, just making faces at each other and laughing <laughs> so hard until we cried. Like a lot of this. Wh- why? Because I we were tired. I don't know. It was just funny, man. It was just funny. Your brain does go to like weird places whenever you're like just... Fucking tired. It's when yeah. everything is Chris. funny. Yeah. <laughs> 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 You're yeah, just man. like, hey, whatever. Yeah. Hey, well, you had a uh, speaking of cosplay. You had a Soldier seventy six thing. Are you the Soldier seventy six for Halloween? Yeah, dude. I'm Wait. going. As, I'm going as Dad seventy six for Halloween. I'm pretty yeah. stoked. What are you guys doing for Halloween? I don't have a Halloween. Co- well, I. I'm yeah. Are uh, they part- I realized I hadn't done a big like costume thing since. God, what was it? I think 2011. I went to Jean. I think I had Jean cosplay. I went to Jean. Oh, was that back in 636? Yeah. 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 So there's yeah. a picture of you, me, Risinger, and. I think it was Aaron. Marquis? No, no, no. Was Wait, that... what were you. In that what, was, what was he dressed as? What were you guys dressed as? I was dressed as an elf. Oh, like Zelda? Like a. I just had a long, flowy dress on and elf ears. Okay. I was like, why did you specifically pick Zelda? Because <laughs> well, I'm trying I to spot the year. Oh, that oh. You, were, you were Zelda another year, yeah, right? Yeah, not at Rooster Teeth, though, back in college. Um, and then Risinger was Clark Kent with the <laughs> yeah. open shirt. Yeah. Whose party was that? I can't remember. This was just at was the it? office. Oh, okay. Oh, I remember right. the party at Jack's that year. That was oh, was that the ha- same year? Yeah, he had a Halloween party. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I went to Jean. Yeah, you were uh, Han Solo that year? Probably. I imagine you go as Han Solo every year. No, that's just in my head. No, no, he's like. It's either Han Solo or Indiana Jones. Well, this year, <laughs> let's say th- I'll be exploring uncharted territory. I don't get Laura it. Laura Croft. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no. isn't, isn't Al- Alana going as Laura Croft? I don't want to say. I'm going to take that. She's going as Laura I'm Croft. Take He's going as Nathan Drake. I'm going to take that secret to the tomb. <laughs> <laughs> don't, let's, don't laugh let's, at that, let's Andy. Say that you're my, better than that. My girlfriend's costume is, she's, she is rather crofty. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Keep going. I'm out of them. You want, you want something with a raid, I maybe? I don't have anything on my radar. I'm out of them. You what? What? Ra- radar? Raider? No. Oh, oh, it's good. Oh, Jesus really? Christ. I, don't, I had yeah. to explain mine. <laughs> <laughs> you fuckers. Uh, I don't have a costume. I, last year I did a, um, I was a Tauntaun from... <laughs> yeah, I remember good. that. You that won good. the fucking Halloween costume contest at Griffin's I, house. I was so happy. <laughs> I was so happy. I was not expecting that. It was a great costume, but I just like, for some reason, I was like, oh... I, I was surprised. It was sounds I, like it wasn't a very great. I hand, that's a backhand. <laughs> it was inventive. Well, I had to like, and I cert- I went around town like to like three different costume places yeah. and like ordered stuff online and like printed it and Photoshop. That's a lot of effort you put into it. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm like, cause I'm kind of building it. Like I've got, I've I've been having to. I didn't I didn't just want to buy like a fully made 76 outfit. Mm. So I've got like, I bought some big Batman boots. I got the black cargo pants, the black turtleneck, did get the jacket, but I'm also getting like his holster, his like this. Uh, The only thing I'm not gonna have, I don't have his big like cylindrical grenades. I thought about taking like Natty Light and, like, yeah, yeah, and I'd be like, awesome. I'd be like, Brolger seventy six or something. That'd but, be great. Do but that. Uh, then I have to make that. No, that's super easy. I might, I might paint them. Paint. Yeah, I don't know. I might, I might fuck around with that. And then um, for the mask, I ordered a mask. It showed up all bent and fucked up, so I returned it. But then I realized I don't really want to spend my night at a party like in a sweaty mask, anyways. Yeah. So I just got these like one piece red. Uh, like Cyclops looking glasses. Mm-hmm. So I'm I'm really fucking excited this you, year. It's been a long time, and I've put paint. a lot of money, and I had to like. Put together some like, Halloween straps costumes and shit. are fun though. Like a lot of people knock on people for spending a lot on them, but it's just it like is, it's once no, a year. It's a lot of good fun. and like, a lot of people are, like instantly year. recognize yeah. what you are. Yeah, it's and fun. I can wear it to cons. That being said, you don't want to. Yes, you can. Uh, that being said, you don't want to go like too over the top with like makeup or whatever because I did go one year. It was the first year that I had like six pack abs, and I was like, I'm gonna <laughs> paint myself green. I'm gonna be the Incredible Hulk. Oh, I saw that it's picture. The fucking of you on Facebook. worst <laughs> Halloween of my life <laughs> because like for once in my goddamn life. I was attractive, and all the girls were like, "Oh, Blaine, he, you know, he's a person now." <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't Jesus fuck, Christ! I couldn't fucking dance with anybody. I basically stood in a corner. People would come up for a hug, and I was like, "No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna paint you green." All the girls were like, "He's angry. You wouldn't like him." <laughs> <laughs> he's angry. But it sucked because like I, I couldn't make 
like I couldn't interact with humans because I was just <laughs> fucking green. green. Nobody the, the, could love me. <laughs> <laughs> but the girl's house that it was, she hosted it at, she was like, I've been finding so much fucking green paint in my house. And I was like, I'm so sorry. Every, it's like the blue man from Arrested <laughs> Development. I mean, have you st- no, I did. Never mind. It's never hard mind. to paint yourself unless it's like the really good quality body paint stuff mm-hmm. that you could get. Oh, I've there never was a painted piece- myself. Yeah, not many people have. It's yeah. not a very uh, no. you have not common thing. No, it's a pain in the dick because I remember <laughs> I found it's a pain in the dick. dick. It's a pain uh, in the dick. That was I too found, obvious. I didn't even go there. I found paint in my belly button, in my nostrils, in my ears, especially oh. for like. Just and weeks. your girlfriend. Bo- yeah, body paint is like it's <laughs> up there with like glitter. Pink. Like glitter is the herpes of arts and crafts supplies. It really like, is. You just can't get rid of it. It's ever, it spreads like yeah, no. <laughs> like yeah, herpes. That happened yeah. to me. Uh, <laughs> you guys know Jessica Negri, right? Yeah. So she was kind enough to send me a costume that she had made. Oh, no that way. like I complimented her on it, and she's like, "Do you want it? I'll send she's it to you." She's so fucking. She's nice. the best Negri person. Is the shit. She's yeah. so sweet, and so uh, she sent it to me. And I was really excited, and I brought it home, and I opened the box, and I started taking pieces out, not realizing that the entire costume was covered in glitter. Oh. And so, like, my entire bedroom is, like, sparkly now, <laughs> just because it was just a glitter bomb. <laughs> um, it smells really, delicious. She's though. really close yeah. friends with my uh, girlfriend, Alana, and we got to hang out with her and her boyfriend, Ryan. And they're the weirdest couple. Like I thought, Ryan's Alana the fucking I, shit. I thought Alana. And oh I were my weird. god, they are fucking. No, they like they're suck each other's faces. For each it other. was so great. They're amazing. Yeah, yeah, like we went and got like yeah, we got drunk and stuff like that. But yeah, no, they're fucking great. And she does that. She's like, hey, do you want a costume? You know, like you guys should cosplay and stuff like that. She's like always like throwing on a costume. She's very yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah, she uh, she sent me like a spring fairy costume, and she said that she's gonna work on like a fall fairy, and we could do a shoot together. <gasps> That's so cool. And I was like, I would die. <laughs> Because I like look up to her so much. She's an incredible cosplayer, and she's, she's beautiful and funny, and I'm just so like, talented. to be my friend. <laughs> say, I'm friends. trying to get her in another Rooster Teeth production that isn't Ruby. Let's just say that. Oh, really? Yeah. Ooh, I'm, I'm working on that really hard. Ooh. Just put her with me, whatever you yeah. do. What's that? Put her like next to me at all times. Okay. <laughs> like, if we could just be like hugging and stuff. I mean, like, you probably the entire episode anyways. Oh, dude. So, okay. You and I were both at um, New York Comic Con. Wow. We were also at PAX West, PAX West, and I had a weird thing happen to me at PAX. Oh, you told me about that. I think I talked about this on. Um, we we're on the main stage. On the know. thing that's not sponsor play anymore. We have a new name for it. It'll come out soon. Um, but fuck it. Uh, so I can't tell if a guy was trying to mug me or not. <laughs> what? I, exactly. I, 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 okay. Who were you, were you with anybody? No, nope, it was. I was just by myself. Oh. So. Um, I gave myself a rule. I was in I was in Seattle for like a week because I had a meeting with Microsoft, uh, PAX, and then another meeting with Microsoft. So I was there. It was like the longest I'd been away for a work related trip. Um, it was great. I loved Seattle. Holy shit, Seattle's cool. It's great. Um, that wasn't your first time there, though, was it? No, no. But the other two times I'd been there before, like I the like one time I was to work on RVB music with Nico, and like we never left his house. Decided yeah. to just go get coffee and food. Uh, and then the other time I was literally there to go to Microsoft, look at Halo so Four, and then come back. So I no, I'd never been to Pax West, oh. and I'd never, I felt like I'd never really gone to like Seattle proper. So um, I gave myself a rule. I said I uh, I'm not going to make any plans. I will, and I will say yes to anything that somebody asks me to do. So like, if I woke up in the morning and nobody had texted me about doing anything, I was just gonna walk around town and just see what happened. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it was great. It was one of the best times I'd ever had at a convention. Awesome. Uh, I ended up like. The first day I walked around, I found an art museum. I was like, oh, neat. I'd like to buy a ticket, please. And they went, it's free ticket day. And I went, oh, wow. And then I went to the museum, and then I found out there was an aquarium, and we all went to the aquarium. It was fucking amazing. Yeah. Um, I love aquariums. Anyways. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> that was weird. My, I really I love aqua- aquariums. Are like, fish. Aquariums are like my favorite thing. All right. So, I like um, to watch the fish. I do. At this. Bethany went on this big tirade about how otters rape too, and she would not shut up about it. Yeah, they do. Wait, what do they really? Apparently, they do. And then she wouldn't shut up. She was like, "Let's go see the otters, so I can prove to you that they're all evil rapists." And we're like, "Shut the Bethany, stop saying rape in an aquarium." And And then when we when we fucking got to the otter exhibit, they were fucking. And she was like, "I told you, I told you." No, yeah. But then they stopped and they cuddled. And I was but like, see, that's yeah, consensual. See, see, yeah, yeah, yeah. That doesn't yeah. sound like. Yeah, but no, there was there was nothing worse than having to tell Bethany to shut the fuck up about otter rape for an hour and then showing up at the, the otter exhibit and seeing them just banging. <laughs> um, anyways, um, so one morning I decided to go to the Pike's Place Market. Yeah. I got up really early, walked there, had a great time. It was super cool. Got some pierogies or whatever. You see the fish? I did see the fish. That's awesome. And I was walking back. 
And uh, I went down like a, a shady street and this dude like is crossing the street making a beeline for me in a hoodie and looks super disheveled. And I'm like, all right, this guy's he's probably gonna ask me for money yeah. or whatever. And he stops, I was like, hey, excuse me, sir, do you have a second? And I was like, hey, and he's like, I'm so sorry to bother you, I'm so sorry to bother you. This is, re this is real embarrassing, man. I'm not really from the area, you know, but um, I got mugged last night. And then like he pauses and I was like, I'm so sorry. He says, yeah, yeah, it's real terrible. I need money to catch the bus, but all I gotta sell is this knife. Think you can help me? And he whips out a knife and I went, no, sorry, I only have a credit card. And I just kept walking. <laughs> Holy shit. And then as I was walking away, I remember thinking, golly gee, that guy put some weird emphasis on some words and then pulled a knife on me. Is he trying to mug me? No. Right? <laughs> I, I don't know. Was it like midday? And then you it was, it, was, pretty, in the it was pretty early in the morning. It was pretty early in the morning. There was no one else on the street. Uh. Um, but I remember thinking, like, if he was trying to mug me, that's how you get, like, that's how you get friend zoned, man. You just need to make your, you know, make what you want very clear from well, the beginning. Yeah, That's, you he, know, be more has, forward with be more it. More alpha. Yeah. yeah. Well, that was his thing. It's like I wasn't, I wasn't trying that, to muck him. That's what I was, I was trying to sell him my knife. That's my thinking. Is that like, had I like, like pointed this guy out to the cops, he would have been like, I never once did that. Yeah. I never once was mugging him. I was asking him if he wanted to buy my knife. So smart. But it was. Is he though? Because I walked away with a skip in my step. <laughs> no, but now I start to think about like, <coughs> what if he was just trying to sell you his knife? What if you should have done a better but job? But who does that? Would, hey, like, would you have like bought the knife? Say you had like a five on you, be like, hey, no. I'll take that knife for a five. Like, no, absolutely. What do you not. think he would have said? I'm if not going to check a bag. Is it a nice knife? But Miles, what nah, you, it was okay knife. Okay. What if you'd been like, I'll give you five dollars for your knife? What do you think he would have said? Well, then he would probably when he took out his wallet, he probably would have just. Asked he probably would have taken wallet. the wallet. Maybe. I don't know. I have no idea. I just didn't know he was mugging me. You probably did a good thing by brushing him off as if you didn't know you were being mugged. Well, yeah. Good thing I pretended like I didn't know that. <laughs> my, we, Good thinking on my part. When I was little, uh, we had to go to downtown Dallas for whatever reason. And my mom took me down there, and I was like little, little. And we uh, went little to Spaghetti little. Warehouse because I fucking love Biscetti at Spaghetti Warehouse. What is Biscetti? I, spaghetti. It's, it's what they call it in. Uh, when you're what in, we when do you're in the three? shadows. <laughs> no, what we do in the shadows. It's a really funny oh, okay. mockumentary. Anyways, well, Biscetti. That's stupid. That's joke. <laughs> uh, we we are going, and this homeless guy pops out of nowhere, and he's like. You have any spare change? And my mom was like, ah, no, thank you. And then she like, walked on. <laughs> so she the she guy was screamed like, and then said, no, thank yeah, you. Yeah, as if he was like offering her money and was like, mom, no. You know how you could avoid criminals? By getting Ring. God damn it. <laughs> Thanks to Ring for sponsoring this episode of the RT Podcast. There's a home burglary occurring every 13 seconds and most happen in broad daylight. The Ring video doorbell has been proven to stop burglaries before they happen by allowing you to see and speak to anyone approaching your door using your smartphone. Now Ring is using their advanced motion detection technology to protect your entire property with the Ring of Security Kit. The kit includes a Ring video doorbell from the, for the front door and a Ring stick-up cam. The wireless weatherproof HD camera to keep an eye on other parts of property. For a limited time, listeners of the RT Podcast get up to $150 off a Ring of Security Kit. Go to ring.com slash roosterteeth. Join the millions of homeowners who protect their home with Ring. Go to ring.com slash roosterteeth for up to $150 off your kit. That's ring.com slash roosterteeth. Thank you, Ring. Thank you, Ring. If I had a doorbell, I would love to use one of those. <laughs> I, I am so paranoid about people knocking on my door. I never answer the door. Yeah, really? I yeah. in college when I was in the dorm, um, I built a doorbell. It was you the built worst. A doorbell? It was the worst mistake of my college experience. What did? Please so, explain. So 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 it's like you can order like you can buy at like Home Depot do doorbell parts. Mm -hmm. And so like me and my roommate were like, oh, it'd be really cool. We'll be the only dorm room with a doorbell. So we like rigged. Which this dorm did you live in? In Jester. Oh, what the? F okay. Idiot. All right. And so okay. we like rigged this thing where it's like a little red button next to our door. So like, oh, we have a doorbell. <laughs> and then it was just like we'd be sleeping at night, and all of a sudden, like, ding, 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 ding. And what, just drunk what, people. What fucking college was gonna? Dorm. Of course. Of course. Jester's the worst. Do you remember we had a doorbell at six three six? Uh huh. That we used to fuck with Kara. Yes. With. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. We we've had, surely we, we've talked about that. I don't right? know if we yeah, have. No, I, I think know. it's been like an RTA. I can remember the hidden doorbell. Yeah. Well, no, I think, right, I think you're upstairs right. Upstairs on the second floor where live action used it, to sit. So there was yeah. also like someone figured out. I think it was Marshall figured out there was a remo like a remote to ring the doorbell. Yeah. And, and so you rig something upstairs. <laughs> and so. 
<laughs> That's <laughs> he, terrible. Anytime Carrie came upstairs, he'd ring the doorbell. She'd be like, oh, I gotta get that. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> just, just, to fu- just to fuck with her. Oh, my God. That what is an asshole. amazing. There's oh, a, we realized at my house over in Ottawa, the doorbell rings a sensor that's in the basement, so you could hear the basement doorbell. Mm-hmm. So if you're not upstairs, you could hear it. Hmm. We realized there's a frequency you can make with your own voice to set off the sensor. Whoa. Whoa. It was really, like, we would play with it all the time. We'd be in the kitchen, and we'd be like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> And then you hear, <laughs> That's so bizarre. In the basement. Yeah, it was great. Did you ever ding dong ditch when you were kids? No. Uh, I think maybe once. Once or twice. I, I don't know. It's, it's one of those lame pranks. Yeah. yeah. I used to like do all the, the stuff like teeping houses. Oh, you're perfect for nerf. Pushing porta potties <laughs> over. And, yeah. No, you didn't. You push, Absolutely. You pushed the oh, porta potty over. Piece of shit. No, but the shit was in the porta potty. Like who did you do it to? I was I it a basically close or a stranger. Basically every construction. I thought site. you were bullied oh, as a kid. Fuck goal. you, Gibson. But what? You you pushing over porta potties? That's horseshit. Literally, no. Well, like no, I probably like in my day, probably like twenty porter potties. Like, <laughs> Why? Oh, but you're a madman. Why would you do that? Because it was funny. No. Where did you grow up? No, Where did no, you grow no, up? No, 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 no. Allen, Texas. What is there yeah. to do in Allen, Texas? <laughs> Fucking nothing. Push okay, that's why. Porta-potties. That's why. It's a blessing that you didn't succumb to hard drugs. Okay. Yeah. That's what I've learned. Anybody that grew up in like a small town is normally either like, oh yeah, I did some fucked up shit back in the day, or they just like had sex with a bunch of. people. I mean, it's like a suburb of Dallas, and I was not having sex. But no, we we just push those over all the time. But there was this one time. All that does is just. There's some dude who just has to clean up people's shit. I'm not thinking about that. I'm thinking That's about like I'm employing people. The shit sloshing around. You're yeah. just making someone clean I'm up I'm generating shit. jobs you, for the market. Did you ever what? do it with somebody inside? Oh, no, no, no. no. Okay. I'm not That's a monster. That's slightly better. Well, you're, you're still, a little poop you're, monster yeah. still. You're well, there was monster. this one time, though, where uh, my friend had a crush on this girl. <laughs> and he was like, we should ding-dong ditch her. And I was like, fuck yeah. So we were like... <laughs> Late high school, <laughs> so we uh, we drive out to her neighborhood. We spot out her house. We park his car like three blocks down. We're like planning it all out and stuff like that. We ding dong ditch. We run away. We sit in some bushes <laughs> like across that? the street and we're like, <laughs> <laughs> and her dad comes out. We're like, oh shit! You know, like doing that whole thing. Sure. Wait, you know, like five minutes. The window curtain like goes away. And it's like, all right, he's he's no longer watching. So we run across and we do it again. Ding dong. We're like ah. So like we run instead of going back to that spot, we didn't want to risk it. We just ran back to his car. So we're sitting in, our, in his car, and we're like, "Oh man, that was great." Oh shit! Duck, 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 duck. We look over. He no. was someone was knocking on his window with a bat, and he was the fucking dad. And he what? was like, "My wife." is a nurse. She has to get up at 5 a.m. every morning. <laughs> and you fucking kids are ringing my goddamn doorbell. And we're just like, you know, like eyes are saucers. Oh, wow. It was He's the right, scariest though. fucking thing. <laughs> I ended up like really being good friends with that girl. And I helped them move out of their house because I felt so bad about it. Did, but her dad, every time I saw him. Was though, this in the middle he, of the he night or waved, something? He, he just kept a bat. It, on was, like, it was like 2 a.m. Oh, wow. Yeah. You we're assholes. <laughs> I Here's thought this was like, this story. Story. and the afternoon. was a piece of shit. That was a piece of shit. <laughs> uh, did did I ever tell the story? In high school, I, I might have told this story before. I don't know. If I have, stop me. There was a... Uh, stop. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> so, so it was like uh, me and this girl, we, we were like, you know, driving around. We're like, hey, let's go to the park and like hang out. So we're like in my car, parked, and then we're like <laughs> making out, doing, you know. Are you having sex? N- well, no. Uh... <laughs> Because um, at some point the light comes up, so she's like, "What is that?" Oh, like is a that? flashlight. And there's like a flashlight in the window, Ooh. and this cop comes up, and and it's like, you know, da da da, and we're like, oh, "We're just talking, officer." And he's like, "Yeah, yeah, okay. Just so you know, the park closes at ten. You guys need to leave." And we're like, "Oh, yeah, yeah, yes, sir, yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. We're just talking. We're just talking." He's like, "Yeah, sure. Don't make me call your parents." And we're like, yeah, so we drive. And I'm like, Be I'm like, like, you don't have their numbers. <laughs> yeah. And then I'm like, don't worry. I know. But no, let's go somewhere else. So we drive somewhere else. <laughs> don't worry. I know another children's playground. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we go to another park. And we're like, um, you know, continuing doing whatever we were doing. And uh, the, you know, windows start to get a little steamy. And oh, then Titanic. <laughs> flashlight comes. Oh, my God. <laughs> flashlight comes waving in. And I'm like, uh huh. World on the way. It's the same cop. Did, you Did he just follow it's you guys? It's the same cop. And he goes, 
all the parks are closed. <laughs> <laughs> you need to, you need to leave. He probably patrols all the parks. I'm was, sure he yeah. does. He went back to his car and he looked at his partner. He's like, I'm gonna cock block the <laughs> shit out of this kid. Oh, I'm just man. following him to his house. <laughs> oh, I That's fucked up. I used to do like because when you're kids, you don't have anywhere to go, so you got to do it in your car. Yep. So like, I used to have a lot of experiences like that. But there was this one time, and I'm not gonna say whose car it was. Let's just say I was borrowing a car. What year was this? What was this? Don't Wait, worry about it. I'm not gonna be specific. This was, was last week. It was your was, car. <laughs> there was someone else's someone else's car, and I was it Aaron's. No, and a lady and I did things, and it, the window steamed up. Yeah. Well, I didn't want that person's car that I borrowed. I didn't want them to know. So like I ended up going out to Walmart and buying Windex in in paper towels to clean out the windows. Well, what were you were you, what were you actually, doing on the windows? Oh, it was like, like hand prints and you, stuff. There was no. It was like steam everywhere, and then like you try so? to get rid of no because like it was like sticking. There was like condensation, Wait. and it was like dripping down. Did you like? Did you whack your dick against the window? Uh, no. Like mushroom stamp. <laughs> <laughs> stamp here, stamp there, stamp there. There's just um, like a long. Stamp. No, but I just like I. It was like. Uh, Mr. Wolf from Pulp Fiction. <laughs> like I like went through and thoroughly cleaned out the car to make sure no trace of uh what what's okay. whose car wait. Don't worry about it. It wasn't it's no it's none of your concern. You're fine. I've never been more suspicious. I'm trying to go. Now through, I have like, to remember whose yeah. car I, it's you borrowed. None of you, it's okay. So cool. Hey, we'll just send out everyone email yeah. later. Yeah. yeah. Anybody, did Blaine ever borrow your car, guys? <laughs> hey, no, mentioned? I don't think so. So uh you brought up you brought up an interesting thing, which is like, yeah, when you're a kid, if you're in a relationship you want to do some like you want to suck some face or whatever. Yeah, you gotta you or gotta find dick. places. You gotta find places to do that. Where is the most inappropriate place you ever fooled around? Aside from a school, <laughs> <laughs> was it an elementary school? <laughs> Holy shit! I think I have a story, but no. Um, it was like very obviously one of those fields that you go to get murdered in. <laughs> Like we, I'm sorry. We, what we drove off oh, of a those. dirt oh, yeah, road. I know all about those. And then passed a sign that says "Do not enter" and parked amongst trees. We were covering our amongst tracks. Trees. And and it was the the scariest boner I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> because I was like, at any moment, I'm gonna get a fucking axe to the neck or something like that. Was it hard to get hard then? Uh, no, it was exhilarating. Oh, okay. <laughs> you got a fear I, boner. I got a fear you boner. You were like, zoinks? Yeah. And then you just went for it. Yeah, exactly. The, I, I, are, oh, go ahead, Barb. No, I, I probably have the worst one. I'll save mine for oh, last. Oh, okay. Well, are you talking about in high school or just, as, just an, in general. Or as an adult? In general. Oh, oh. Okay, just the yeah, worst place. As, as an adult? I've church, UT church, library. Church, church. UT library? What'd you do in the UT library? That's X. What? <laughs> Where? <laughs> How quiet were you? <laughs> <laughs> Was she, was she like, oh? And you heard, shh. No, it, it, uh, we just like. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> oh, man, Chris, I didn't know you had it in you. She just like. And then she had it in her. <laughs> Explain. Um, no, it was just like, uh, like snuck into a, uh, it was like a server room or something. And then just. So there were like computers and shit. And then you, you can rent her. study rooms in that uh, place. I know. You also there, have a room that you can use. Well, uh, I guess there you probably windows. The exhilaration, though. I, yeah, it was just there was a door door about that public that fucking. No, no, not not about it. But I'm like, all if I'm I'm just about having sex. So if it's like in public, public, then I'll go. I'll <laughs> go for it. You know. Um, and you know, like, was it? Can I ask? Yeah. Can I ask? Was it a y'all just can't find a place? Was it you sought it out like exclusively, or was it? Hey, we're both kind of horny right now. Let's fuck. Um, I think it was a mix between. It was like, hey, let's go. We were out and about and doing, wandering around. It's like, hey, let's go find a place. And then we wandered into the library with the intent of finding a place. Mm. One of those things. <laughs> and you found. A, did anyone catch you guys? No. Mm, nice. Discreet. Um, so did you go back there to again? check out any books <laughs> on anatomy? <laughs> did you teach her about the Dewey Decimal System? Oh. <laughs> That's the um, name of your penis. And then, <laughs> it's lame. <laughs> at a parking garage downtown, mm, mm. and that was just one of those like that happens. Yeah, like, just if, a moment. If I, I were a serial killer, I'd be like the park fucker. Like you know, like <laughs> that would be my name. I've had sex in so many parks, um, <laughs> and I've killed so many people. <laughs> <laughs> I was um, actually fucking the park. Well, <laughs> I don't think I talked about this before. 
I, uh, fuck, my parents are watching this. Are I, they? uh, yeah. My parents watch mine too. It's a, my parents don't know parents. how to use the internet. I'm I got good. head to Chicken Little. What? What? <laughs> Wait, what? I was like, dating a girl. <laughs> I was dating a girl in high school and we needed a place to go fool around. So we got, we bought tickets to an 11.30 p.m. screening of Chicken Little. <laughs> Wait, a.m.? P.m. P.m. Because we were like, surely no, no one's one. going to be watching Chicken Little at 11.30 and p.m. And little child No, in. no, no, it wasn't children. It wasn't children. <laughs> but it was Chicken Little. It was an elderly couple. <laughs> Oh. There was one elderly couple Hopefully near like not. the front of the theater, and we were in the very back. And she started like undoing my belt, and I was like, "We can't, the old people." And she was like, "They can't hear." <laughs> Man, <laughs> that was that was a oh. low point. I can't oh watch God. that movie. <laughs> I do you, couldn't tell do you, you get a boner when you watch that movie. No, I, no, but I couldn't tell you what the fuck happens in that movie. I assume there's a chicken in it. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> I I got ahead of. Uh, Drive-in movie theater watching Jack and Jill, the Adam Sandler movie. <laughs> it was the fucking worst. I couldn't even enjoy it because the movie was oh, so. Oh, I wish her bad. name was Jill, so then she'd be Jack and Jill. <laughs> Jack and Jill. <laughs> All right, Barbara. Barbara, your turn. You claim Wait, to have the worst. That's not as bad now. That's pretty bad. Well, what's? I want to know. Right, well, this is when I was dating my boyfriend in high school. Okay. Yeah. We were guests at his cousin's wedding. And <laughs> I, I feel so bad for telling the story. His cousin asked him to go put something away in the bridal suite for him, and I went with him, and uh, we had sex in the bridal suite of someone else's wedding. What? Whoa. Hey. We christened their Barbara, bridal that... suites. Here's to you, Babs. That's so... You fucking went. That's so so awesome, I know. I'm... Holy shit. That... It was bad. <laughs> that's bad, Barbara. Yeah. No. I know that's, that's incredible. Bad. I no, never, no, 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 no. You shut the fuck up. That's the coolest fucking shit I've ever heard. Yeah, Not if you're thug as fuck. <laughs> that's pretty gangster. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> Wait, did you use their bed? D dude, were you all like, here comes you, the bride? <laughs> <laughs> Dresser in white. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Uh, I'm getting another drink. Uh, yeah, we had to remake the bed. Oh god! You should have. We didn't take the covers off or anything, but when you move around enough. Yeah, they're yeah. not monsters. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Uh, you just oh. you can't get it. Holy shit! So. Hey, you want to do an ad read? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's not time yet. We're just gonna draw this one out as long as possible. There, there was uh, this one time, and I'm not gonna say what school or school district it was. <laughs> you were just all about secrets, Blaine. But there was this one time where me and my friend, we're gonna call him Jay, uh, were like really bored. And at this specific school, there's a radio tower that they built next to the school, so you could hop the fence, climb up the radio tower. And hop onto the roof and to be on the roof of the school. That's cool. And we're like, oh, this is fucking great. And, you know, we walked over. It we, was fucking great. No, we didn't. We didn't have sex. <laughs> we we walked <laughs> over and we looked down and they're like the skylights and it's like, oh, there's a school down there. You know, just like we used to, we actually did that to three schools. We hopped on the the roof of three schools. I don't know why. God, you really did grow up in a poor town with nothing to do. Boring. Oh, oh boring. No, no. Getting up, when you're in a small town, you get on top of buildings. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> right. I'm I'm absolutely yes. scared. That's like there was like a built. <laughs> There was a building I remember in high school that people were like, oh, yeah, just go on top of that building. Yeah. Well, Downtown. And do what? There was like nothing. Try to see the horizon where you can escape to. <laughs> there was like three <laughs> elementary schools in middle school that I hopped on. Did you have, okay, uh, I'm trying to gauge how small your town was. Did it have a Dairy Queen? Uh, Every town in yes. Texas has a Dairy Queen. Did it have a Sonic Drive-In? Yes. Every town in okay. Texas has a Sonic those are the only, like Those are the only two things that exist in small towns in Sorry, Texas. I, I it's mean, it's like a suburb. Really no, no, no. You, you're helping prove my point that I'm not fucking weird because well, you just climb on buildings. You climb things. So they had just built a new uh, crosswalk over to the gymnasium. So the gymnasium, as you know, is always taller than the school. What? Is it's just, it, no, the gymnasiums are always, like, the ceilings are just super high. Okay. And the schools are, you know, a little bit shorter. For, yeah. At least it was for this specific school. Okay. So they had this crosswalk, so we got a running start across the crosswalk. We jumped, and we were able to get on top of the gymnasium. School district didn't think he could do that because <laughs> they left the fire escape entrance thing open because we went over to it, and we're like, oh, my God, we can get inside of the gymnasium. 
So we go down and, you know, we walk down a couple of flights of stairs and lo and behold, we're in this like basketball court for this okay. school. All right, all right. We're like, wow, this is crazy. There's no way in or out. Let's TP it. So we went into the bathroom. We took like paper towels and toilet paper and we just like fucking just uh-huh. everywhere, uh-huh. everywhere. And while we're doing this, I look up and there's a blinking red light. Like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. And, and I was like, and we were referring to each other. The reason I'm calling him Jay is because we're actually referring to each other as code words. So I was like, Jay, Jay. And he was like, oh, God. So like we immediately <laughs> run back up the stairs, go up in this roof, climb down. There's a sprinkler system on top of the school because that's how they, you know, the fires and stuff like that. <laughs> we're going to have to light the building on fire. No, 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 no. <laughs> so we're running into the pitch black night. And Jay hits the sprinkler and just face plants. No. And I was like laughing, but also terrified. And we just like got the fuck out of there. Anything ever happened? No, we were fine. Nice. Yeah. You were a little hooligan. You were I like... also did take a shit in that that uh, part playground for that school. Unrelated. You were perfect casting for Nerf, you son of a bitch. What the fuck were you doing as a kid? It was bored. I don't know, <laughs> I'm just a kid. Fuck me, man. What is it? Eat my ass, butt nut, or something. <laughs> I don't know, fucking Jesus. You that wrote didn't... it, didn't you? I, I don't remember though. <laughs> That's a story about the guy I know who uh, set farts. the library on fire and took a shit. <laughs> he left his DNA. Single laugh from Patrick in broadcast. <laughs> Did I tell you that story? All right. No, yeah, I guess not. Nick. In college, um, I had one one of my girlfriends. I know uh, your last. W- uh, lived in Mizzou in Missouri, and um, Mizzou. her roommate was dating this guy, who was like. Crazy, okay. I, I like just crazy. Right? Sure, no, they, they, like crazy people exist. Like kleptomaniac, crazy. Ooh. He was like a kleptomaniac. You could tell he was crazy. B- yeah, yeah. It's like he, he gave a weird vibe. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, the, her roommate's relationship didn't go well with him because he was crazy. Um, like a year later after they broke up, uh, he, they they were like, oh hey hey, your ex boyfriend's on the news. There's a security camera footage of him. Apparently he. Lit the library on fire and shit on the desks. Whoa. Like all the desks? Well, <laughs> I, I, I assume just one. How did he have how that much, much shit? He much held it in for a week and ate a lot and of it's one of those things, and, and it's one of those things where. Um, you like rabbit pellet? So I know this guy who's like in jail now for shitting on a library and then setting it on fire. What, which, what the fuck? Wouldn't the fire burn up all the. Shit. Well, that's the thing is he got really upset in his case in his criminal case because they didn't keep the shit and he was like that's my that's how I prove I'm innocent because they didn't keep the shit there's DNA evidence of me if that's not my shit that was his like I don't know no. but there's like he, there's like security camera footage of him in the library. Just leaving little Hershey kisses on every <laughs> desk. What was his motivation she- for that? Did he have any? He hated. I books. mean, I. Wh- wh- <laughs> or he was just fucking crazy. I mean, I don't. I don't. What motivation could you possibly? I don't know. Have? Like, <laughs> hey, you know what? I'm gonna go shit in the library. And books set killed it on my fire. family. Yeah, like this. Like he didn't like the school or someone like the I, library and talked it's badly just, you know, to him. Some some men like to watch the world burn. Like quite literally, <laughs> watch the world burn and watch God. their turds burn. Yeah, it's scary when you like. You think about there are just straight up crazy people in this world. A lot. Yeah. A lot of crazy people. Has anybody dated a crazy person? No. No. I've well, probably I mean, gone on dates. Unless with crazy you're talking people. about currently. Person, yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. Hold on, let me think on that. I feel like you guys would have more stories because I feel like it's a stereotype that like there are more crazy women in the world than. I don't dudes. know about that, but I that's think definitely not true. I, I that's think not it's just, yeah, I think but just in terms cool. of like when you're dating people, you might find um, some crazies. I have a story. This is not my story, but um, I trust you to tell it. Yeah. So I got you, Chris. The, uh, a friend of mine. You. A friend of mine was matched with this guy on Tinder, mm. and uh, oh yeah, you told me this. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> a female friend, of, friend was matched. Yeah, with yeah. Guy on Tinder. Matched with this guy on Tinder, but she was like, oh, I don't, you know, I don't really know because he's like not really my type. He was like the type of guy who's like. You know, got hunting pictures. Nice. Like you know, yeah. like of him, like with a gun, like with sure, whatever. And she's like, but you know, I think you know, I think he's cute. So she gave him her number, and he called her, and and she was like, hello, and she's like, hey, how how are you doing? And he's like, she's like, good, good. And then she, and he's like, so uh, you're from uh, California, right? And she goes, yeah. He goes, does that mean you're a hippie? And and she's like, 
How did? No, no, I don't. What do you mean? And she's like, well, tell me this. Do you smoke weed? <laughs> and she was like, I mean, sometimes. I don't know. Not whenever. And she was like, uh, he's like, oh, well, I think a woman who smokes marijuana is very unattractive. And and then she was like, I'm sorry. That sucks for you. <laughs> and then and then. And then he was like, all right, well, are you a racist? Because <laughs> I am. <laughs> and then she was like, no. And then it was like long pause. And she was, he was like, well, I don't think we have anything in common. No. <laughs> and then God. hung up on her. How did they get that far that he had wow. her number? Like, you don't think she would have been able to, like, oh, I don't, I, I, that I, I don't know. I mean, via text? I, I don't think, I think he called her, like, pretty soon after giving a phone number. You, you, yeah. It doesn't take long. Yeah, I guess if like you get the number. Yeah, you get a number right away and you call it. Blaine's like, you'd be Christ. surprised. <laughs> <laughs> it was Blaine. No. <laughs> Man, I don't have many dating stories just because I haven't dated a lot of people. I think I, I people are tired of me telling my dating stories. <laughs> ah, that's but not the true. thing about you is that you have endless stories. Oh, it's because I have endless dating. Stories. <laughs> exactly. I have. I have another. I have a dating story, or I don't. It's more not a dating story. <laughs> Go um, on. Great story, I, Chris. So I, it's every story besides a dating story? Yeah, it's it's pretty much all my stories, Barbara. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I was I was out and there was like this really cute girl and she was um but the whole night she was like talking to these two guys and I was like, Oh, there's two guys like competing for this one girl and I'm like, I'm not even gonna like I'm not gonna throw my hat into the ring. And then I'm like, at some point, it kind of naturally, I kind of bump into them. And then I'm talking, and I'm like, oh, I realize the two guys that were there, they were two gay guys with this girl. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, cool. This is like, this is like two. This changes everything. Yeah, you know, I'm like, I'm like, okay, cool. You know, so I'm like talking with them and hanging out for them a bit. And and then um, and then they're like, hey, we're gonna, you're, I think we're gonna head out. They're leaving the bar. And I'm like, oh, well. You know, we should like meet up later or something. Cause I'm like, oh, this cute girl, you know. And um, I ended up like talking, like in my effort to like try and figure out how to meet up with them, I ended up like just getting the number for one of the gay guys. <laughs> and then I was like, and how did that happen? I don't know. I, I was like, <laughs> we should hang out later. And I was like, <laughs> And I was like, here, well, let me, you know, and I was like, how, like, where oh, y'all, where are you going? Jesus. Oh my and then, God. And then, um, and then he was like, well, here, let me give you my number and we'll like meet up later. I'm like, yeah, for sure. And I'm like, so then I get his number and then I'm like, cool. All right. I'm going to send you a text right now. So then we meet. And, and then in my head, I'm like, yeah, cause I'll meet up with them and I'll talk to the cute girl. And then I, and I'm walking away. I'm like, oh wait, that's not exactly what I was <laughs> intending to do at all. Well, couldn't have you just met up with them later and the girl would have been with them? I, well, I don't know, but it was no because it, it ended up that thing where it felt like I was having a connection with this guy. Oh, when I was really trying to just like it, just it went, it went, it did not go as planned. I think I was, it went exactly as planned. You're a bumbling idiot. <laughs> <laughs> there was one time that you and I were at uh, Barbarella like ages ago, and I remember we were both just kind of like sitting there having our drinks on the side of the dance floor. And we see this like really beautiful girl dancing with like a guys, couple of thank guys. Thank you. It wasn't. It was not Barbara. <laughs> and uh, you're like, oh yeah, she's hot. I was like, yeah, yeah, she. You, know, you go dance with her or stuff like that. So like, I'm just kind of sitting there, and then you start dancing with her. <laughs> and the entire time that you guys are dancing, I like look over every now and then, like, oh, yeah, what are you gonna do? Go, Chris. No, 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 no. Go, Chris. And and she would look at me, and she would look at me while she's dancing with you, and I was like, haha. <laughs> so then, so then I'm like in the dance floor, and then I'm dancing, and then you're just like gyrating like a drunk idiot, and she's still looking at me, and then eventually she walks over to me, and I'm like, "Hi, I'm but," and she starts kissing me. What she the left fuck? Chris entirely. Oh no! Starts kissing no. me, and then she pulls away, and I was like, "Uh, yeah." So, what was your name? And she walks away. Just disappeared. You literally I, had to do nothing. <laughs> just, no, well, he made eye contact with her. That's, that's something. True. No, that's that's very true. That's she very was true. the one that got away. Holy shit! That was uh, and that was Chris's future wife. Yeah. <laughs> and that's how I met your mother. That is. Oh. All right, well, I'm gonna read one last thing. Go I, for I, it. I have no good segue for this one. Disappointed. I know. I'm sorry, guys. What's it for? Squarespace. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, it sounded like Chris sure was a square in that space. 
You're welcome. Yes, it was. <laughs> this episode of the Rooster Podcast is brought to you by Squarespace. Uh, with Squarespace, sites look professionally designed regardless of your skill level. There's no coding required. They offer intuitive and easy-to-use tools to help you along the way. And you get a free domain name if you sign up for a year. Start your free trial site today at squarespace.com slash roosterteeth. When you decide to sign up for Squarespace, make sure you use the offer code roosterteeth to get 10% off your first purchase. Squarespace, build it beautiful. I've used Squarespace before. Yeah? Yeah. I did a portfolio um, when uh, I was back in school for marketing. One of our assignments was to create a uh, electronic resume and portfolio. Mm. So I used Squarespace to like make a whole website about myself and put my resume up there. Electronic fun. resume. Electronic. We are living in the digital age. Uh, um, go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna talk about thongs. <laughs> <laughs> no, please go. They're just weird, Why and not? I don't know how <laughs> girls wear them. Because it's like a constant wedgie. We had to wear that for uh, the Rocky Horror thing. Yeah. Dancer's belt Dancer's or whatever belt. it's called. So, no, yeah. That. Dude, not thongs not. are great. No, they're not. <laughs> she says I so. was at, I, I was at, uh, <laughs> I was at AFF this weekend, and there was someone I bumped into in line, and she was looking at me, she was like, oh, hey, you look really familiar. I'm like, yeah, you look really familiar, too. And then realized she was on a short in which I was naked. <laughs> Wait, what show was that? Is it one that's released yet? No, it's it's not. It's nothing that we've uh, released. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It turned into porn. Was it the one you just showed Blaine before this? Ba 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 Yep, and then it was this awkward moment. I'm like, yeah, you, you, we, we spent the day naked together, or I was naked and you were there. That sounds like a classic Chris conversation. <laughs> if I ever heard one. So sometimes, whenever I do my laundry, I just grab it all up, put it in the laundry basket. Mm-hmm. Don't you know mess with any sure. of the stuff. Fold it, whatever. Yeah, yeah. So one day I was like in a rush to get to the gym. Put on my underwear. Put on my pants. Put on my shirt. Run to the gym, and then like I was sitting down, and it just like there's just a, like a wedgie, and I just like kept. Picking and I was like, "What the fuck is going on?" I was like, "Did I shit my pants?" Like, there's something <laughs> obviously up my ass, and I didn't is know. Is that what your it was. first thought too? When you feel something uncomfortable, you question if you shit yourself. Yeah, because it was like this weird feeling that was like something was just in my ass, and I was like, just <laughs> "Oh, like, I accidentally put on my dildo today." Nothing's, <laughs> nothing's, there's nothing there, and it's like it, it, it was clean and everything's fine. So then what I like the I just like fuck? went the rest of the day, and I like did my workout, and then I like got home. Like, what the fuck is going on? So I sit down and I'm going to the bathroom. And I like, and there's a thong in your and asshole. I reach back. <laughs> it's like one of those dryer sheets. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I don't understand why, a, like, a, like a girl would want to subject herself to that with like a thong. Well, okay, all right, all right. Well, there's a difference sheet between your asshole. <laughs> My asshole smelled great. <laughs> Like, also, it was, it was so like a soft. summer so breeze. Soft. Also, lint- snuggles. Is no yes, lint zero whatsoever. lint in my asshole. Oh, God. Yeah. Uh, but, I don't know how to explain it, but it, you don't even feel it. Really? Yeah. Uh, there's n- literally no other woman here. Oh, is Anna still here? Maybe not. Anna. I'm just. Well. <laughs> I kind of like. Part of I mean, some dudes it. can wear thongs. Any dudes? Thank yeah. you. Part of me I wants to like <laughs> propose to like, yeah, I'll walk a day in your shoes and I'll see what it's like, but I don't want to wear a thong for a day because that's weird. I will do it if you do it and you do it. Well, the Why difference is you guys you have just... a whole another bit in front. <laughs> well, yeah, we do. You can just so it's gonna just to pull. I guess you'd get a size bigger or something if you want to. We could, I guess dancer belts is about the same. I feel like dancer belts aren't the same though because it's like a thick tube. Have well, you ever the closed reason... the door with an erection? Yeah, I've d- I've done things with my dick with an erection. I don't know if I've closed the door, but it's I've, great. <laughs> I've opened doors with it. I've done. <laughs> no, you haven't. <laughs> you ever... Push, you say. <laughs> they have this thing where if it's you... like it's it, it's like the scene from Jurassic Park. With it's the... just fun to have. Sometimes just having a penis is just like you just you just got a little extra frame. You're just like, yo, let's just let's fucking close this door. It's... Boom, proud of you. I read an article because I wanted to be better in bed, so uh-huh. it was like hey, but... ways to make your you know. <laughs> Could you yeah. wait, wait? I need you to take a moment to imagine a world where somebody writes an educational sex article, but they don't want to <laughs> use actual terminology. So, like, take your you know and put it in her you know where. <laughs> so, one of the things that it recommended was putting a towel over 
and then doing kegels while you're erect. <laughs> Doing and then, push ups. And then I remember like putting it on and standing in the mirror, and I was like, ah, it's like a little ghost. I, I was just, I've done that. I put, I put my little hand towel over my dick after I got out of the shower one day. I was like, put it on, and I went, woo. And I Spooky. <laughs> there was, I've never felt, I haven't felt this close to you since you got blackout drunk and asked to hold my hand. Oh away. man, good times. I, I once downloaded a, a, a Kegel woo. app. A Kegel app. <laughs> that was, it, and it was like it would like remind you do your Kegel. Whoa! <laughs> I need to get that. Is that like drinking water? Like reminding you drink your it water. It would remind you like it's that time of day. Do your Kegels. And I, I only I, I downloaded it and then I like <laughs> undownloaded what it for a, a week. A Kegel for a guy even feel like? It's. I mean, it's just uh, like, like stopping like, the flow. I mean, we're, I'm, we're all probably like, all doing them right now. So, I, I, oh my God! I do it right now. <laughs> There's a moment during sex ed class where the teacher was saying it's like basically all you have to do is flex this muscle and then. Like, I was looking around and there was like a look of concentration on everyone's face. Like, no one has ever concentrated and, that hard in the, class ever. And then I called out and I was like, everyone's doing Kegels right now. And everyone's like, no, no. <laughs> it was like, I'm doing them. <laughs> I remember doing them. I was on, I was like waiting for a plane to take off. And I was, <laughs> and I was, I was, uh, and I was two, flying two, with uh, Zach Hanner. And, <laughs> and I was like, and I was like, my, I was like on my phone and then like the Kegel thing popped off. And I'm like, Oh, I gotta do my Kegels, and I was telling Zach about <laughs> this app. I was like, "Hey, you want to do it together?" <laughs> I was like, <laughs> and he was like, "No, <laughs> I don't." That's a We're also on a plane, point. and yeah. you're talking yeah. way too loud. What does that do for guys, though? Uh, it makes you last longer. Does it? There's like some benefits to it. Because I know for what? women, it like helps strengthen the. No, it's just like it's vaginal floor. Well, it's like a muscle. That I mean, you, I mean, it makes it makes your orgasms more. <coughs> like, yeah, like there's a lot of benefits to it. There's no, there's yeah. Yeah, for women, it makes you be able to squeeze tighter. <laughs> yeah. Around the, the penis. The penis. Which is, no, no I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> But yeah, <laughs> no, it's, it's good. It's good. Good all around. You got to work everybody in body and your muscle in your body. Everybody in your muscle. You got to work everybody in your I muscle. I like to body. see you go to the gym and like you're in the, <laughs> you're in the locker room. <laughs> <laughs> what? You, hey, 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 bro, can you spot me? <laughs> <laughs> there was this, there's this guy, this new dude that works at one of the gyms that I go to. I have memberships at two gyms now. And um, one of them's a bouldering gym, though. So it's. Yeah, yeah, we've been going. Yeah, we go, yeah. Hold the bros, hold the bros. Um, so this guy, I remember. Uh, oh God, I can't remember what we were talking about. Oh, I was actually talking about the bouldering gym. I was like, yeah. And he's like, where have you been? And I was like, oh well, I'm splitting time between two gyms now. I'm going to this one, and you know, you boulder. And I was like, I don't know if you've ever been climbing there. Like, it's great. It like works forearms and stuff like that. It's like really good forearm strength. And I look at him. He's like, give me this weird look. And he's like, ha, the only exercise that I need to work my forearms is jerking off. And he's like, ha. I'll see you later. And he touched me with his <laughs> hand, and I was like, <laughs> "Did you know this guy at all?" Uh, I'm not gonna say his name. I know his name, but like I've interacted with him like we'll tops him ten minutes in my life. Okay. And he thinks that we're best friends. Jay. Again. It's it's A. His name is A. A. It's Aaron. I'm sorry, but <laughs> yeah, you know, I don't see him much anymore, so <sighs> makes sense. Well, Jerking off, sense. right? Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Jerking off. <You're>, ah. oh, <laughs> That's what it felt like. Ugh. I was like, not cool, eh? I'm sorry, man. That's wrong. I don't want to hear about people drinking off. Draft sheets in the ass. Yeah, I, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. I used to think thongs were so weird as a kid, but then the reason why women have to wear thongs so much, or some of them do at least, is because women have tight pants. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you wear underwear, you could see the line, and it kind of cuts your ass in half and gives you like that weird like flat... Bulgy thing yeah. that I get you that. see sometimes. I get that. That's why thongs. It just it's all one thing. I, mm. I wear tighter men's pants. That's why I either go athletic, like where it's like really tight, yeah, or noticed. no underwear at all. <laughs> uh, Wait, you wear no underwear with jeans sometimes? Oh, it's really? Worse. Ooh. It's why? not bad. It might my, my the quality of life did not change at all. What and if you what if you get an erection? Uh, pff, I I'm did not you a, the Texas talk. I'm not a it? middle schooler, so yeah. well, no, but like. Do you, does, I mean, jeans are so rough. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, that's it's what not I bad. Wouldn't you chafe? I yeah. I didn't notice anything about it. He and has a very he, calloused head. Yeah, my 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 <laughs> dick is hard. I mean, you're rubbing it on car windows all the time. Yeah, it's <laughs> sure to get Dunk. little chafe. My quality of life was unchanged. I was just like, I don't even know why I wear underwear. Quality of life. Yeah. <laughs> Odd wave. Yeah. Going yeah. commando as a woman is very weird. Why? Yeah. Just doesn't. It just. It's very. Parts uh, get rubbed. Dude. Have you ever been ballsy enough to go commando while wearing a skirt? Yes. <gasps> Long skirt. 
not short. Still, Still though. Yeah. That's a, it's like not going to fly up or anything. You're okay. It you don't know. Feels, gusts of wind. It feels quite nice. I'm sure it does. It's breezy. I bet people wearing kilts all the time back in the day were like, this fucking rules. It's just nice. Like the wind's flowing up all crevices and oh, like God. flapping things I around. I went on a date with a girl. Go on. Who was going commando in a skirt on, on a first date. How did you know? Did did you did she tell you or did you her. ask her? Or did you see something? I'm, I'm not going to get into specifics. Why not? You Why not? You're not yeah, revealing yeah, no. this person's name. How to, did like, you find out? How did you find out? Were you fingering her? Whoa, Barbara. Whoa. You're, gonna, you're being too bold with your approach. You're going to scare <laughs> him off. He's very skittish. Um, so what happened, on. Chris? Tell me as your friend. No, I was... You know like, what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. well, I, I we were, like, hanging out and so, or something, and I, there was a moment where, ever, like, she adjusted or something, or, like, and I, I was like, man, is she not wearing under... Like, it hit my head where it's like, she is she not wearing underwear? Hit your head, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then, um, <laughs> and then later, she mentioned, she was like, oh, I'm not wearing underwear. I, f and I was like... Did you marry her on the spot? <laughs> no, it's no, just, John Reisinger wasn't around at the time. <laughs> but uh, it, I was like, was you, the way, all done. right, Chris, I know you. <laughs> the way that you just fucking stumbled through that story, that is not at all how it went down. You fucking liar. I'm calling you out. You guys hooked uh, up, and that's how you found out. There's her adjusting and stuff like that. <laughs> she, at some point, opened up her legs and did the whole... What is it? What's the sudden impact or whatever? What's the movie where she <laughs> lethal? lethal uh, what sudden is it, impact. What is that movie keep... called? Lethal Weapon. No, 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 no. Titanic. Basic, basic instinct. instinct. She did the basic instinct where she went lethal like this. Lethal weapon. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what happened, Chris. N no. <laughs> that's did the it... least believable no, no. denial I've happen? ever heard. Did huh? you guys hook up that what? night? Chris, we're you your wanna... friends. Just tell us. Why don't you want to tell us? Why don't you want to tell us? Your parents don't watch. How long ago was this? You told us. I'm not telling anything. <laughs> this was a very recent date. No. Was this the crazy girl that you were telling about? Sorry, I mean, which one? Oh, oh. That was like. Uh, oh no, no okay. not that one. Right. What is that one? Can you tell us about that one? Yeah. No, yeah, I don't, don't want to get that one. Uh, you don't want to? It's just, oh, okay. just people, right, just fine. like, just yeah. That's fine. I'm taking off all my podcast stories tonight. This is great. Look, look, Getting through crazy all of them. people. I. <sighs> Go on. I briefly dated a crazy girl. I've dated several crazy girls, but this one, this one takes the cake. This was one, of, she was one of the reasons I stopped using Tinder. Oh, no. So, uh, you know, after Aaron and I separated, went our separate ways, mm -hmm. I went through a little phase. I was like, I'm going to try this Tinder thing. Tinder's great for your self-confidence, by the way, because every single time you get a match, you go, that person thinks I'm pretty? Yeah, yeah. It's great. And for all, it's cool. I, mean, I did meet a bunch of legitimately very cool people on Tinder. Except for this person. <laughs> Let's call her Belle. We'll call her Belle. The Belle of the Ball. Be the beast. Crazy Belle. Belle, um, start off great. Our rapport was fun. I love, I love being able to have like little witty text conversations with people. I fucking love flirt text. I'm a huge flirt. Yeah. Um, it's fun. She's great. First date, hit it off. And I'll never forget, I've never felt more bold in my life. I'd never once tried. This is like, I hadn't been on that many Tinder dates. But like, I just felt right. It felt like it was a great first date. And I'll never forget, like, we're having a drink. And I was like, hey, you want to get out of here? And she was like, I would love that. And I was like, Whoa. oh my God, it's happening. What do I do? <laughs> like a movie. So um, smooth. Uh, and, you know, go back to my place. Great. Awesome time. Great Sex. time. Sex. Yes. Great time. Thank you, Blaine. Let's just say it. Are we all um, so, uh, uh, you didn't need to clarify. <laughs> <laughs> um, they f intercourse. <laughs> yeah. So, um, we went on another date. And Great time. One, of, one of the very important things. Children. One of the, one of the very important things mm -hmm. about that first date was I, like, I started, like, it caught the point where I was like, you know, we're having a good time. And I, I you know, I wanted to make my intentions clear. I yeah. said, hey, you know, I just got out of a very serious thing. Not quite ready for another very serious thing, but you seem cool. You know, if you're down with this, you know, just maybe some casual fun. That's cool. And if not, that's totally fine. Like, not everybody's about that. I'm not asking you to be about that. Like, just I just want you to know. Like, I think this was even before the first. Day, like, we were having this talk, and she was like, "Totally fine." Mm -hmm. Same story for me. I'm like, "Cool." Everything goes well. This goes on like maybe like another week or two. We're like every now and then we'll like hang out. Things are great. Um, and then one night she was like, "It's Friday night. You, me, fucking." Fuck party 2015 or whatever year it was, and I was like, uh, 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 okay. She's really like super it aggressive. Uh, it was something similar to that. It was okay. she's she she titled it something to which I went, 
I would love to take part in that. Um, and we were like, okay, cool. And we were, I remember we were going to make like, we were going to make a fun night. Like we were going to have like PJs. We were going to watch some movies too. We That's got some point. drinks. Uh, cause it was, it was, she was literally like, dude, let's, let's hang out like all night. Okay. It'll be it, like we're, we're gonna make an event out of it. Okay, yeah. that's cute. And I was like, yeah. cool. I like yeah, this girl. awesome. Yeah, no, she was super cool. Yeah. She's like, let's get some fucking bagel bites. I was like, fuck yeah, yeah. let's get some bagel bites. Mom yeah. always makes bagel um, bites. <laughs> so we having like a really good time. So um, we're at my apartment. We we're making out. And so let me back up just a second. There are a few times prior to this where like a few slightly weird things had happened. Little red flags. Li- I'd call them yellow cards. Not okay. even red flags, just yellow cards. But like she kept talking about her friend Ryan. How like Ryan, like she's known Ryan for years. He's so great. Mm. Like a brother to her. And I'm like, that's cool. Ryan seems like a cool dude. I don't want to get between you and Ryan. Ryan sounds great. But she kept talking about this Ryan dude. And then every now and then she'd be like, I like you. I'd be like, yeah, I like you too. You're cool. But like she said it a lot. And I was like, hmm. Like as if she was reassuring herself. I don't know. I, but it's something about the way she said it, I went, Gave her those Clint Eastwood, Donald Trump, like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> the lip eyes. <laughs> so uh, we're making out in my kitchen, and she pulls back. She says, I really like you. And I was like, yeah, no, I, I like you too. This is one other important thing. She had mentioned that she was about to move. Um, so like there's-, there's Like this, cities or apartments? About, cities, cities. Okay. She's about to move to like San Antonio, which albeit isn't that far away, but yeah. it's another city. Right. So she was like, yeah, no, this whole casual thing totally fine. I'm about to move. I'm like, great, cool, cool, cool. She says, I like you a lot. And I'm like, cool, yeah. She says, maybe we could continue this thing when I move to San Antonio. And I went, maybe. <laughs> and then she stopped smiling. And she went, maybe. I said, I, uh, well, I, I'm i sorry. I just want to make, like, we're still, this is just a, ca- a casual, casual thing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she goes, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's super casual. Ooh. That was the first red flag. <laughs> I went, uh. And then before I could say anything, she was like, anyways, she, she, she goes, anyways, where were we? And suddenly she's like, back on to perky sexy. And I was Pulled, like, yeah, that's and crazy. I was like, okay. And I'll never forget. In that moment, I thought back to something that both you and Bernie told me. Both of you gave me advice when I re-entered the dating scene, which was, Miles, here's how you need to tell if a girl's crazy. If she says some sort of weird, out there, hilarious joke, you need to laugh and go, you're crazy. And if she responds with, no, I'm not, she's fucking crazy. Yeah, yeah, Bernie and I did say that. And I thought about that moment, and I was like, surely not. Um, So she's like, so where were we? And I was dumb and a little intoxicated and was like, we were making out. That's where we were. Things are great. She, like, changes into PJs afterwards where I, like, put the bagel bites in the oven, pull them out. Everything's great. And then... I notice she's being a little quiet, and I say, hey, is everything cool? And she's sitting on my couch, and she turns to me, and she says, you're a selfish dickhead. Ooh. And I was like, whoa, I, excuse me? Well, I mean, you are, but what <laughs> I was that? like, this, like, it came out of nowhere. I was like, I- excuse me? She's like, you're so full of yourself. I was like, what? What? As I'm holding, like, a tray of fucking <laughs> just bagel sir. bites. And I got like, your apron on. Like, I sat down the bagel bites, I was like, what did I do? She says, oh, nothing. But I mean, this is just casual, right? I was like, I, um, and I remember I was like super awkward because I like admittedly, I, I've never done casual, yeah. right? Like it's so hard. I, it's, it's like, yeah. I never, I'd always, I'd gone from like relationship to relationship to relationship. So this was new territory to me. So I'm already like, all right, so how did I fuck this up? What did I do? What did I do wrong? Right, right. And, um, she goes, I'm like, what did I, what did I do to make you think that? And her response is, I'm a communications major. Like, I can just read your body language. I was like, what? What did she say when you slapped her after that? <laughs> <laughs> I did not. I did not do that. And I went, oh. Just and then kidding. There was... <laughs> Abuse is not funny. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, I, I don't. I'm, I'm, I, I, all I could think to say was, I'm sorry you feel that way. Clearly, I did something wrong. Um, I guess you should probably go. And she was like, yeah, I guess so. And she like got up and fucking like smacked the fucking uh, uh, bagel bites like on the floor. I'm like, oh. She did not. No, she did. I remember because I had to fucking clean pizza sauce. Oh. Not the bagel bites. And I remember being like, oh. And in that moment, my brain went, you drove her here. Oh. oh. oh fuck. So I go, uh, you got to go. She says, yeah. 
I, uh, I'm just going to call an Uber. Thus began the longest 10 minute wait oh. of my entire life. Why did she just wait outside so, your apartment? Because I don't know, I'm an idiot. Like, yeah. any sane person would have been like, you can fucking wait on the curb. But I was standing there with my fucking, like, bites all over the floor. So like, you get started cleaning them up? No, 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 no. Dusting I remember them off I just, and putting them in your mouth. At this point in time. <laughs> he waited until after she was gone for that. At this point in time, miles of that moment decided to go. Well, let's just do a whole post mortem on this thing and find out what went wrong. No. <laughs> oh, no so I lean. I go. Okay. Can you please explain to me what has happened? She goes. Oh, what has happened? We would never work. I'm like I. I thought this was a casual thing. And again, she goes back to casual. She like she'd been drinking. We both been drinking a bit. Yeah. Um. And she's she's like she's like she's like please. Fucking, you wouldn't make fucking bagel bites for someone you're just casual with. And I remember thinking like, I would make bagel bites for anybody because bagel <laughs> bites are fucking delicious. Thank yeah. you very much. Um, I'm like, I'm so, I'm sorry. I don't know. I get, I don't know if I'm giving off date vibes. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm new to this. Like, what the fuck? She turns away, and she's like, love is bullshit. <laughs> wow. She goes, she goes, she goes. Wow. My dad's cheated on my mom, and they're still together, and they hate each other. And I'm just like. Where is this coming from? Like, I don't know what to say. In inside, I'm thinking, where is this coming from? But I'm awkward as fuck. I'm just like, okay. <laughs> and she goes, but I love Ryan. What? Oh. At this point, my couch might as well be a fucking therapy session. She's like, I love Ryan. We've always loved each other. And we're going to be together. And I'm like, Jesus but Christ. you just said love doesn't exist. I don't know what the fuck's going on. I don't know what to do with you. There's bagel bites on my floor. Like, and it was just, it's just, it's, it's just getting worse and worse. And she just starts venting about shit that like, I feel like she's been repressing her entire life. And then finally she goes, my ride's here. See ya. And she leaves. And I'm just like, You'll never that find was out the worst. That was the most uncomfortable I've felt in years. Oh my God. Fucking clean up my bites. I remember like the few that she hadn't knocked off, I ate. Yeah. <laughs> and I was just like, that was, I like, I texted Kara's like, dude, the craziest fucking thing just happened. And I like, talked about it and you know, whatever. The next day. Oh shit. That morning I woke up to a text. And it was, hey, uh, I, I left my pants at your place. Fuck. They're like my favorite pants. Burn them. I know things got a little heated last night, and I'm <sighs> sorry, but could I please get those pants back? She wants to talk about heated, burn the pants. And I was like, because again, I'm dumb. I was like, you should have been like, she, she knew She knew where I worked too. So lawyer, like, lawyer, she, she, like, she worked lawyer. in a very similar area. Mm. So I was like, sure, come by. I'll, I'll meet you outside the gate. I'll give you your fucking pants. She's like, okay, cool, thanks. So I'm like, pack up the pants, I go to work. And she's like, yo, I'm here. And I walk out and I meet her. I'm like, hey, I'll give her the pants. And I turn to walk away. And she says, hey. And I turn around and she says, I feel like I owe you an apology. I got a little weird last night. I'm like, it's fine, whatever, it's fine. She says, yeah, yeah. Anyways, if I'm ever in San Antonio, give me a call. <laughs> and she drove away. And I immediately took out my phone, pulled out her number, and relabeled her Crazy Bell. So I will never, ever, 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 ever respond to that number if she ever calls or texts me ever again. And that wow. is the craziest person I have ever dated. She's or so like, not even dated, it was just like, it but was that, a, it was like, casual. Saw, yeah. It was casual. It was casual. Was it? Oh, super casual. It was like, man, I've, that was a nightmare. Yeah. That was a nightmare moment that will haunt me for the rest of my days. I feel, I feel like you, the storyteller in you, wanted to drag out some of those situations because you're just like, I want to see where this goes. I just wanted just to know, like, well, because like I said, I was like, I hadn't done the whole casual dating thing. Like I, so I was legitimately like, this cannot get any worse unless she picks up that knife that I'm not letting her near. Like this can't get worse. Let's do some fucking investigative journalism here and see what fucked up. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, I don't know. Somebody, I think, I can't remember who was telling about this, but they were like, their, their whole view on it was maybe she wanted something more, and then when I, like, called her out that it was just a casual thing, she got embarrassed and then kind of weird about it. I don't know. I don't know. I wish her the best. I hope that her and Ryan are very happy together. I, well, they're, they're I hope love. Ryan is still alive. I Dude, think you owe the audience scary. a text to Belle. Fuck you. Absolutely not. I think you need to no, do that. Don't do that. I'm not doing You're that. A bad hey, influence. I'm in San Antonio. Want to get some bagel bites? Nope. Mm -mm. That's an, I'm never talking to her again. Well, on that Ever. note, we got to wrap. She texted things up. me once. No, she. Hold on. You you do your thing. We got to wrap sure things up soon because we got the uh, the Try Hard podcast that starts now. What's oh, the Try Hard? Part? We can we can we can show this. Let's keep them on a cliffhanger. That way they have to. Come we can talk about it in the post show. Yeah, we'll talk All about right. it in the post show. So right. uh, if you're watching this and you want to see what happens, sign up for our first membership. You could get a free 30 day trial. 
Uh, so yeah, watch the Try Hard podcast. It's the Screw Tag Game Attack but guys new podcast. Yep. And I'm g- and I'm gonna see if I can get Miles to text her tonight. And I'm not texting response. her. I'm not. You will for All right, the post Well, thanks for no, watching. We'll see you on the post show. It's not stream live, so check that out on Wednesday if you're a first member. Love you guys. Bye. Uh, this sorry, is like the Mom. Empire Strike.